dumb, fucking, hateful slurs. Why am I talking? I love it. Hey, Mr. Brunel, you there? I am present. I understand. He's claiming that he's got $5,000 a month in expenses and only $5,000 a month in income and nets about $35. Um, it's Kevin's fault. The topic I want to discuss is depression. Depression is not a joke. It's not something to be joked about when you are not alone. You are not a horrible person because you have this. It's not your fault. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. It's been tough. Um, over the last decade. Yeah. It's been tough. It's been tough. Over the last decade. Yeah. It's been tough. Beggar, Phil's fat, Phil's a loser, it's been tough. Phil's a faggot, Phil's fat, Phil's a loser, Phil's a beggar, it's been tough. Phil's a beggar, Phil's fat, Phil's a loser, it's been tough. Phil's a faggot, Phil's fat, Phil's a loser, Phil's a beggar. Super Meat Boy is in the stream chat, whining and complaining. Say that I never talk to anyone unless they tip me or they send me money, which is completely false. All he's been doing is sitting there all night complaining that he's depressed and no one cares. And everyone's basically ignoring him because you're like, dude, we just don't care. You know, you come in and the first thing you say is you're depressed. And what are we supposed to say to that? Now he expects that I'm going to derail the whole stream to talk to him live. So let's do it. Super Meat Boy, how you doing? You're really depressed tonight, huh? You're really depressed. My stream is my place of business. Uh, the company's name is Burnell Productions. It is internet content creation of on-demand and also live video streaming services. Big up to your dad. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Please tip me. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Because I have bills coming up. Please pay my bills. I'm nervous. Draft for cash. You better take a sale, sale, sale. Please pay my bills. I'm nervous. Draft for cash. Get a real fucking job. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Please tip me. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Because I have bills coming up. They fucked me again, left and right, and my ass is so fucking stretched out at this point. It's time to push back. It's time to push back. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Please tip me. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Because I have bills coming up. I never, ever used a hateful slur. Ever. And that pisses me off. Ugh, I want to watch some faggot. Some, some homo. Fiddle's a nigger. You better take a sale, 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 sale. Now it is time. 
So it's a segment that everyone looks forward to. One of the highest rated segments of all time that I've ever done. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Phil's day off. What's up, Piggy? Let's get it started. Big up, Skier Cat. It's my day off. Might leave the game with on a jerk off. It's my day off. Spend money on pulls and dumb shit. It's my day off. Might go out with my bitch wife, can't. Give me money today. Give me money today. This is where my fucking money goes to every month. Garbage dump, grocery shopping, pay my taxes, pet store, pay my bills, pay my bills. Blowing his money on mobile games, blowing his money on this and that. I'm spending all this money by DoorDash for my business. I need to put disgusting food in the mouths of my family members. Obviously, I need tips. Yes, I spend money on mobile games. Okay? These are my life priorities. Pay my taxes. It's my day off. Might leave the game with on a jerk off. It's my day off. Spend money on pulls and dumb shit. It's my day off. Might go out with my bitch wife can't give me money today. Obviously, I need tips. Give me money today. This is where my fucking money goes to every month. Shout out to the trolls. For those who contributed, thank you. It would be great if we get a few more tips. Uh, to make up earlier today, we did not hit the, the, the hat goal either. Uh, it's been a very slow day. It would be great if we need to pick it up a little bit with uh, maybe some contributions inside with tips. If you can, just saying, you know, I know some people are super chatting or whatever, that helps long term, but right now I really can help. Tomorrow's my day off, the tips I'll have for my day off, you see? Give me money today. One more thing, I'm not a children's entertainer, because I'm not a puppet. I'm not here to play a character. I'm not here to pretend that I'm something that I'm not. I don't dye my hair. I don't act stupidly constantly to get attention from children. I don't do stupid pranks. You know what I mean? I don't cause drama. I'm here just to play games and have fun. I'm a legitimate gamer. Big up skier cat. I need banana, tasty banana, put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. Hello everyone, we are here. I'm hoping you can hear everything loud and clear. It looks like you can, but please, of course, I know you can let me know if I'm not showing you, but welcome. We are back. Sorry for that last week. I uh, couldn't be here. Was not feeling well and uh, just started, just couldn't do the show last week, but I started feeling better a few days after that. So we're all back in action here. Unfortunately though, our boy Meerkat <laughs> has, has uh, confirmed he had the coronavirus a few days ago. Uh, so hopefully he's feeling okay. We'll see about Sunday. You never know how it goes. Uh, it's been through all of us now on the show, so hopefully we're feeling good. But I'm here with my always, ever wondrous get go host, fantastic Mr. Sam. How you feeling, my friend, today? Yeah, pretty good. All things considered, it's a bit of a weird evening, but yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. If you saw my cat there, she's now gone. Um, <laughs> yeah, but pretty good. All, yeah, apart I guess from the the obvious. Yeah, we should in the room. we should ask you, I guess, because as being from that part of the world, that, where it means a little bit more than it does to us over here. Uh, how do you think? Uh, give us a give us a give us your official statement here on the passing of the Queen. Uh, yeah, it's just it's it's sad. It's hard to ignore. Really, it's hard to 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 explain. Really, because it it's just one of those things, you know, where you she's always there you know it's just you, the queen lives at buckingham palace or wherever it is she lives and 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 she's always there and now she's not and it's just a very odd thing that we're just gonna have to get used to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um so yeah and and we should tell everyone we were thinking about the okay let's think of a question to do a poll or whatever and the poll was gonna <laughs> be will phil tweet about this to an attempt to get viral <laughs> he answered the question like literally during our conversation he's already tweeted about it and shared with the world his thoughts on the passing of the queen he could not pass up that sweet, sweet viralness, or the chance at vi going viral on Twitter. And in classic DSP fashion, he says a word that just comes out weird when he says it. She was a classy lady. So <laughs> she was a classy lady. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not arguing that in one bit. But when DSP says it, it's a little... It just doesn't sound right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like we were saying just before the show. Like he he wanted to say something, but he he just has nothing to say. So he's just gonna <laughs> he's gonna spew out yeah. whatever he yeah whatever it spew comes stuff. To oh, yeah, she's a, a classy lady, I guess. So uh, yeah, okay. Uh, but anyways, we do have a poll though. We thought of a different poll. How many shorts? How many more shorts or total shorts 
we'll fill upload until our next call-in show. So it's one week, and just for – he already has five. So if you're voting in the lowest bracket, you're saying he'll do five more. He already has five out there, and if you vote, if you vote zero to ten, that means you think he's going to get five more. Uh, if you sink 10 to 20, obviously you can figure out the rest. So please uh, put your guesses in there for a little bit of fun. Uh, before we get started, of course, we do let you have to let you know we do have members now, and they are awesome. And uh, thanks so much for being a member of the people that the people that are. Uh, we're not going to mention any more, but if you want to be a member, that's awesome, and you get some cool stuff. Uh, we also let the members know who our guest is going to be early, so all the members in chat know who our guest is going to be uh, for Sunday, which is a pretty hype one. Uh, but uh, everyone else has to wait to the end of this show. We will announce that. Also, we have members polls. We show alternate uh, th- thumbnails and stuff like that. So thanks so much for people that are members. And uh, yeah. Uh, also, if you want to ask money, throw money at us when you ask your question, you can do so below. The link is down below. That's the end of the plug segment. I won't get to that anymore. Unlike some other <laughs> shows I've been watching this week that are, are pretty funny with that. They go by the name of Steel Toe, and uh, they're pretty funny. Uh, but anyways, we got to get right to the show because we have so, so much time. So many messages to get to. It's incredible because last week we missed the show. And I want to make sure every single message gets read. So, Mr. Oh, oh, crap. We forgot to get into the chat room here. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Forgot about that. Everyone in there. Sorry about that. We're going to be in there one millisecond here. And there we are. The room is now open. If you want to get in the Discord, the link is down below and it should be working. If it doesn't work, please let us know. But it should work. And we see some, the room is already filling up. So, thanks so much there. We're going to start with a voicemail, though because we have lots of those to get to today, the most we've ever had. And uh, we're going to start things off with message number one, Sam. So can I, are you ready to listen? Yeah, this is uh, Bro Janky, right? Um, I need to mute you on Discord because we've got a little double Sam action here. And you are now muted, and it should be fine. And yes, number one is going to be Bro Janky. Here we go. First message in the hopper. Let's have some fun today, guys. Here we go. Hey, big ups, guys. Big fan of the show. First time caller. Uh, I just wanted to touch on like two comments that I think is hilarious and just kind of get your guys opinion on that. Uh, The first one is like um, I've noticed lately, especially with the closet cleanouts and stuff, DSP has been showing off like these guidebooks talking about game sharks and these cheat codes and, you know, the, the, the two times speed or whatever he used for Final Fantasy. And I'm starting to believe just based on the way that he plays games now that he definitely used those growing up. Like, there's no way this guy was getting through all those games without a game shark or a guidebook. And it's funny because when he talks about them, he is all about them. Like, yeah, guys, this is that game shark. And, oh, this is the guidebook that you use for this, that, and the other. <laughs> like, I just, I just kind of want to get you guys' comments on that because I honestly believe there is no way he was beating these games with no stream, no help, unless he had a guidebook. Um, and the other thing I wanted to touch on real quick, because I've, I've heard Sam talk about it a couple times. I think it's hilarious with DSP, like not setting up scenes and not having any clue what he's doing with his streams. But the thing that gets me is like the double click. OK, yeah, this is definitely what we listened to before. The double click comment. I definitely remember. Sorry about that, bro. Janky getting double airtime. You love to see it. Uh, but yeah, yeah. We talked about that last time, Sam, if you don't remember. Let's go to number two. If that's cool. All your statements are still true, bro, Janky. It is funny. And he does do that double click. And his shorts are showing it now, too. When he starts the short, he does like little, oh, let me click it off now. Hold on. Okay, end. Uh, but yeah, you ready for number two, Sam? I think you need to, hang on. I'm, I'm just struggling with my audio, audio a bit. Yeah. I think you need to unmute me on Discord. Um, unmute on Discord. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting double U through the other thing so okay yeah. that one should be good can you t- how, the how guys I... on discord will need to hear me won't they so, yeah yeah you're um, good. so yeah. now i have no echo can you hear me without echo yeah yeah can you hear me yes i can cool there thanks so go. much right. bro janky double double air time is never a bad thing for bro janky thanks so much my friend for that message let's go to message number two sam you ready for that yep 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 Already. here we go from ben here we go hey that being said I wanted to share my theory on how I think Phil's finances work and get your opinion on it. Um, I think all of his personal expenses are covered by his YouTube check in his bankruptcy filing. Uh, He claimed to make roughly five grand a month from YouTube. That was enough to cover his personal expenses. He also claimed an additional 5,000 in business expenses, but we all know that's a lie. He doesn't spend any money on his streams at all. He begs for everything. Uh, So he really only has five grand a month in expenses. Probably less now, actually, because he got all that debt um, cleared. So his YouTube check should be more than enough to to cover everything. 
his YouTube check goes into his bank account that pays all his bills. Everything he gets from tips goes into his PayPal and that's money that he's free to waste on DoorDash, Total Wine, WWE champions. And Kat doesn't know anything about any of the money that's in PayPal. Um, that's why he wants tips. He wants hmm. tips that go directly into his PayPal that he can just waste on anything he wants. And Kat doesn't know about it. Uh, what do you guys think about that? <laughs> there you go, Ben. Thanks for that comment. And yeah, that's been the comment. I think we all kind of could agree in this room. Everyone joining us here knows that's kind of how Phil operates. I mean, obviously his, his YouTube check is probably enough to pay for everything. Uh, even though his YouTube check is still going down, he still gets all those super chats and stuff that he is pretends doesn't exist. They do exist though. We're smart enough to know that as piece of piece lets us know. And, uh, you know, just one of the magical things that Phil has let himself, uh, kind of, uh, kind of his fans now believe that kind of ridiculous, that ridiculous truth of that of Phil world. But anything else to add that that might've been an old one too. We're, we're getting way back in the annual and, uh, of the archives yeah, here. Was, uh, I was going to say, I feel like I've heard that one before as well. But um, We're going to do it yeah, eventually. I mean, it's, it's, exactly. We'll just work our way through. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. You know, he, he makes enough He makes enough money, you know. I, I don't know where to even begin. But, yeah. you know, he, our thoughts are pretty obvious. You know, he, he has, this is a man with two paychecks a day, plus a, a monthly paycheck from YouTube and a monthly paycheck from Patreon. And, you know, <laughs> how is it not enough, man? You know, there's something clearly not, quite adding up there our favorite thing is it's a classic phil thing where all these bills come out of nowhere like two huge bills showed up this weekend it's like we kind of know when the most adults know when bills are going to show up you know what i mean like it's not some kind of Mm. thing they just throw on you i don't know about the uk of course but america's not just all of a sudden like hey you uh you owe us this now okay yeah (laughs) it's not how it usually works but no, there's no, no surprise bills are, uh, I'm sure, a rarity in, <laughs> in most countries. Yeah. Uh, this one, I promise you, is new. If it's not new, uh, we'll, we'll cancel the show forever. But this one's definitely new. We're going to message number three, Sam. That's cool. Cool. Yep. All right. Three, two, one, playing it. What's up, guys? Did you pick up on when he was doing his little pity thing about give him two or three years and he won't beg anymore? He's trying to do the same thing he did with his mother four or five years ago with the detractors. Just give him a couple years. He'll straighten things out in the meantime, and then you can go ahead and fuck with him. Yeah, yeah. I just thought that was ridiculous that he keeps doing this thing over and over, and it worked on his mom, and he thinks it's going to work on us. Yeah, uh, that's a good good comment here. He Again, just uh, Phil just elongating his career throughout these endless lies. I mean, what else? He, he convinced his mom that he's going to be this 10 year plan. That 10 year plan is not thrown out the window. It's in terms of Phil. Now we have a two year plan, I guess. What do you say in two more years? He'll be good or something. I remember that statement like that, right? Yeah. Right, Sam? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm sure that will be memory hold quicker than the, uh, the 10 year plan was, <laughs> you know, it's just such a weird thing to say, you know, making, making deals with you, you detractors and trolls. It's just, I don't know, man. It's, it's just, again, it's just Phil just saying things without really thinking about them. And, you know, it, it, it's it's him saying what he would like in it. Well, maybe not even what he'd like in an ideal world, but it's it's him just kind of, you know, oh, shit, I need to react to this. Way. That's <laughs> yeah. just the nonsense that splurted out. That's, yeah. And, like, think about this. Obviously. Logical. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, obviously, like, in an ideal world, you know, we wouldn't be around, but, uh, you know. Yeah, but look, logically think about it. What if we if you believe what Phil says, what is going to change in two years? Because every single week is a new emergency that he has to handle. Are we ever going to start hearing about? All right, guys. So, uh, will you, we handle my two bills? So I'm going to save everything I get this week. Thanks so much, guys. This is going right into my savings. There's none of that. <laughs> There's none of that. No, <laughs> if you no, believe no, what he no, says, no. he gets money and he has to spend it on these expensive bills, right? I mean. It can't have you can't have both logically. It cannot have both. It's just like the most unfortunate human being, isn't he? You know, like <laughs> this, come on, man. That's that's yeah. why I've said it in the Discord. I feel bad for his fans because if you believe that stuff, there's something not normal about you. I don't think there's any way other way to take it, right? Any other way to yeah. think about it. In two years, yeah. I'll be fine. But yet, every single week, I have no money, and I need more money from you, or dangerous stuff is going to happen. Dangerous. Guys, I'm really yeah. worried. That's the, that's the thing that gets me pissed off, what he says. Guys, I'm worried. 
<laughs> Imagine if I yeah. said that. That I would punch myself in the face if I said that. Guys, I'm worried. <laughs> and yeah, worried. <laughs> there's another word he uses. Disheartened? I, I can't think what it is. Yeah, disheartened <laughs> is worried. And I'm sure there's another one. Oh, nervous. Yeah, Sorry, nervous, the, yeah. The, the big one. So and who yeah, can help with the nervousness? Right. You guys. That's what mm -hmm. that's what it means. Yeah. All you guys in watching us right now, the only one that can help me get rid of my problems is you guys. So it's just like yeah. total kicking everyone in the face. That's the thing that pisses me off. And it's I feel bad for the people that, you know, unironically enjoy him. But let's go to our first real live caller here. He goes by the name of Snood. How you doing, my friend? Question or comment? The floor is yours. What up? Hey, man. Uh, has there ever been a point in history in which DSP has been more pathetic or like just unbearable than right now hmm. like i think since the beginning of his lifespan until now has just been a complete incline how <laughs> awful one person can get yeah i mean you're definitely yeah. right i think Reese, these last few weeks like i know that like this week especially not a lot of drama but a lot of of, of phil the, scrambling the right? stuff with the copyright strikes man yeah 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 the copyright strikes really was the start of this kind of I want to have copyright strike drama, but oh shit, there goes my members. You know, he they're all they're <laughs> all blatant lies. Like he keeps bringing up the copyright strikes as like something he's concerned about when there's like there's actually nothing to be concerned about at all. Like if there was, it would have like happened by now. It's been it's been like 21 days. It's almost been like a month since this whole, whole thing started, right? Like he's yeah. just so full of crap, and it's just yeah. unbearable to listen to. I cannot stand it anymore. Yep. I've like I've yeah. seriously watched like maybe one stream the, the last week because I just cannot deal with like how blatantly he's lying these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think like the um the the to you know the extension of what you're talking about as well is the you know the the jumping logic that he's telling his 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 fan base that you know uh, the the drop in members is is due directly to troll Dude. activity. <laughs> yeah, and it's like... the, people are scared to uh, join like. Derek's at home just being like, I would join, but I don't know. I don't want I don't want it to go away. Or yeah. oh god, so like, bad jokes I gotta not say when talking about Derek. But yeah, go ahead, Sam. What, but, this is like if they were legit fans and they legitimately wanna support you, then they'll support you, you know, like they they'll still become members. They're, like no one's thinking, Oh, I was Ooh, gonna, gonna but, <laughs> Yeah. My favorite I, okay. is he talks about people like they're not the people he's talking to. Like you're talking exactly. to the people. He's talking directly. <laughs> you guys are scared. Like the, people are it, scared. You're yeah. the you're talking to the people here. What? You yes you you're very scared to become a member of my cult, right? Yeah, I, I, yeah you're scared to do it. You won't. <laughs> Is that reverse psychology? Is he like challenging people? Through? I'm not scared. I guess I'm so. join this and stick it to the twelves. Well, because you know who he's really talking to is the the the, the, the select few that have the capabilities to gift fifty subs. Uh, like that's yeah, who he's talking this to. This weird. It's this weird, like, code coded language he starts getting into where he's, like, trying to, like, s implant the idea into OIC's brain. Like, it's time to tip me now. <laughs> oh, it'd be really great to have these Gunner glasses on. Oh, my eyesight's not so good right now. My eyes are burning. I need those <laughs> yeah. Gunner glasses right now. Yeah, I heard, I, I heard that the other day. That was really dirty when he was like, oh, the, the colors are messing oh, up. I really want the Gunner oh, glasses. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what <laughs> happens when you turn 40 is that instantly your body, like... <laughs> bursts into putrefaction and you can't see <laughs> color you cannot hold a controller and you cannot like mute a camera while clearing your nose from post nasal drip <laughs> i i just want to I'm, I'm sorry i know i'm taking a lot of time i just want to talk about one more thing yeah real quick about, go ahead. like you you mentioned that like his fan base i truly truly do not believe he has a fan base i think he has a group of 50 percent of people who hate watch him on on restreams yeah. and th those numbers are in the hundreds and i think he has uh like like, I think he has another 50% of people who are just watching and just supporting him because it either gets a rise out of people who hate watch him and they find that funny, or they're just, like, I truly don't believe that anybody, like, I, at this point, I think that, like, all those Baxters, all of those, like, even, even Derek to a degree might be LARPing, because Derek has been, like, sneak dissing Phil recently and just pointing out really weird stuff, like, yesterday really? he said something about Phil, your bunny was named Bunny, and he's he's buried in your parents' backyard, and he'll be there forever. <laughs> he said something that his bunny's <laughs> grave will forever be in his parents' backyard. I just wow. don't understand what that even is, even from Derek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I these... go ahead. I don't know what to go. I, th I think you're right, though. I think it's like we can count the true fans in probably less than fifty. I mean, that's probably goes without saying. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I got, can't you, think there's even one. No way. There's some. You've seen that chat. Sometimes they're really happy with people donating and stuff. Like those people are real. I think. Like good job. Oh God. God, Phil's gonna be happy with this one, guys. Like those people are real. Mm. They're really messed up, but they're real. I think. I, I yeah, just. I is, really. Sorry. Go on. Go on. <laughs> I was just going to say, you know, there's, there's an element of, like, habit, I guess. You know, they're, they're just they're just there because they always have been. You know, yeah. they've been there for so long, so they're just carrying on. Um, and then some people probably, you know, get a kick out of, you know, being the popular one that always donates. I think we've we've covered that before, and Steve's yeah. probably mentioned it before, you know, where it's like... You know, uh, I'm not going to do this, but home. someone needs to take a very, very close look at the people who frequently chat in Phil's chat. Find out, like, exactly which one of them, and, like, categorize them into all of their sock accounts, <laughs> just so I can sort out, like, which idiot is talking right now. Because it drives me insane to yeah. watch. All right, good, good you, stuff, you, Snoop. We gotta let you go, though. Cause we'll, we'll keep talking. Yeah. We gotta let you go, though, Snoop. You're a legend. Thanks, have man. A good one. Thank you, man. Cheers. Go ahead, Sam. Yeah, just the, you know, the, the, the memberships dropping is just, you know, who's he trying to kid with that? You know, when you get a big batch of gifted memberships or uh, subscribers on Twitch, you, you cannot and you're not kidding anyone when you when you when you say you're expecting a decent amount of them to resubscribe off their own back. You know, they're not, you know, you the percentage of people that will probably re-up their membership or subscription is, is probably in the what? Less than ten percent. Oh yeah, I, I, like, that's, that's, that's probably a great reliable. number. Ten percent is great. I bet. You know, I bet it's way mm. less than that on yeah. average. You know. Exactly. Yeah. If you you know, if you, especially on Twitch as well, if you're just randomly gifted a sub to someone, you know, you 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 may go, you may just get the notification and nip in and say, oh, thanks for that, you know. But the 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 chances of you returning after a month and going, here you go, I have another one, is so slim. Yeah, because I mean, you know, most just, people just... really make a real decision about, you know, okay. I like this person enough. I'm going to give this some money. Like, in, in it would, let me make sure I get this right. Angel Mendoza, thanks so much for becoming a legend. Like, you know, it's like you, you know, so hopefully you like someone enough to say, you know what? I'm going to give it money. But if someone randomly throws me one, it's like, that doesn't change my opinion of that person I'm watching. They still got to earn my enjoyment, kind of. You know what I mean? Like, I still, yeah, it's exactly. not even going to raise my percentage of joining that much. It's not like, okay. Especially when you get nothing yeah. when you're in Phil's, you're, you're Phil's, what do you get when you're a Phil member? Extra extra well, ask yeah. the king that you get every other day when things are slow anyway i mean that's yeah <laughs> that's the benefit you know he, he, he calls it organic growth you know that's what he calls organic growth and it is the complete opposite of that it's <laughs> it's literally someone giving you temporary growth for for a month and and then the chances of, of that then becoming organic and and continuing on is is minimal you know so it's, that's it again it's that's I, a nonsense uh, and i want to know why like the number of members he lost is not even that significant in terms of cash in hand, right? But he really was like scrambling and, and freaking out. It, it appeared like he was like unhinged for a few days there. Like, okay, guys, we got to try to get this uh, gifted thing back. Oh my God, it's not working. It's working. I asked YouTube. They give me, I talked to my contact at YouTube. You know what that means, by the way? Contact at YouTube.com email. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I have that contact too. We all do. But anyways, we got a lot of messages to get to. Let's get to the next message. Number four, Sam, on your board there. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm trying to be specific, and I'm going to play it in three, two, one, go. Green fellow detractors. It's be your boy Smith, aka Clickbait Wrestling. Won't make it in today, but I figured I'd send a message. Wait. This one's going to be a little bit light for you guys to you know lighten up the mood with all the nonsense going on right now. But if you could make DSP do anything for one day, what would it be? Me personally, I'd just make him tell the truth. I think Ask him this anything too. and he'd have to honestly mm. answer it for me. So you guys chew on that for a bit. Big ups to all in the chat and I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> I remember this question too for some reason. This came in a week yeah, ago. Though. Did he ask it twice? Maybe I wonder. Maybe I didn't play it the first time because he called in or something. But anyway, so what would you make Phil do for one day? Um, tell the truth sounds a good answer to me. Click. I was Clickbait's answer. Uh, what's yours, Sam? Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I feel like I, I've definitely. I know. I thought so too. Before, and I can't remember what I said to be honest. But we think of something better. Go back and watch the last episode and <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah, yeah. It seems like we definitely had that before. Good Zion Agent One Six Five One. Nice name, by the way. If that's eight hundred dollars he lost, I don't think it's that much, is it? When it was like he's down like a hundred from, I mean, 
his highest ever was what six fifty one. If he's trying to get to that number, all right, that's a lot of money. But I thought he was kind of like comparing it to his average, which is much less than that, right? But anyways, not important. I suppose we yeah we we did establish that his lowest tier is quite expensive, didn't we? It was um, not. It was. It's not a dollar. I know that. It's. I thought it was five yeah. maybe, but because I thought it was you know 199 or 99 cents or whatever it is but i think it is something like four or five dollars so yeah i guess <laughs> that's a good question that's a good uh uh one there don't 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 beg for a single stream i i mean the challenge uh, just be fun to have him challenge himself not to do that would be funny you know like just imagine him just yeah. like oh god i really want to beg right now but i can't <laughs> be funny but all right let's yeah, go to message number five sam if you got that on your one week ago we cannot have heard this before it's been was one week ago i promise you unless there's something really wrong okay. with the matrix here number five number voice message number 75 go question for alt insider i assume by your name that you were on the jet program we heard this too what the hell i'm skipping that one what is going on here <laughs> tech crew is failing and tech crew is me so really bad here Let's go to number six. We've definitely heard that one before. 2D2 will. This has to be new. Here we go. You got that, Sam? Number six. Mm -hmm. Three, yep, ready to go. two, one, go. Hey, guys. This is 2D2 will. And I got a question about Wednesday's pre-stream when he got the copyright strikes. One of the things that I noticed he said was that he doesn't make toxic content anymore. At least that's what he claims. We all know just by watching his streams that he can still be quite toxic. So my question to you guys is, is that do you think that Phil believes that he has toned down his toxicity on stream? Or mm -hmm. is it all just a big show to try to fool his fans into thinking that he's a much more positive person now? Personally, I think that due to his narcissism, he has essentially a con who is conned himself. Okay, first, have we heard that question? No way. Slur Everyone's saying we have. What is going on here? I mean, it's it's definitely an old one. Oh, my God. Uh, All right, well, that was a good question. Well, I, I do think we – I know we talked about I, – I remember answering that question kind of or one like it. Oh, my God. Definitely spoken about that. Okay, um, Can we, should we try number yeah. seven here? So look at this failure here. This failure of tech is happening on four eyes. Let's go to number seven here, Sam, and we're going to try that one. Do it. If this is it, I'm gonna just, we're going to start, I don't know. I don't want to put anything out there. Ten push-ups or something. Off camera, of course. Not on camera. Here we go. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> hey, guys. I came up with a bit of a Theo theory. Uh, about two weeks ago, Phil retconned the bank leaks into that some troll had stolen $10,000 out of his bank account without Phil realizing it. And then he quickly walked that back and never mentioned it again. So my Theo theory is that's what he told Cat, And that was how he explained how all of his money is disappearing into not WWE champions. Hmm. Sam, thoughts on that? Ooh. We, I feel like we've covered this. Well <laughs> Did we but, get to um, this one too? Yeah. I, well, it's hard to say sometimes because I think sometimes we've just talked about these same, same thing. Before. Oh my god! Uh, okay, what someone else is saying this is old. All right, okay. we're just gonna keep going down the list. Best show ever, right here. <laughs> Go down the list of males until we find what we didn't answer. We this is what happens when we we skip a show, isn't it? Yeah, well, I know we can't do yeah, this anymore. Yeah. Jasper World Order. I don't think we've heard Jasper World Order yet. Yeah, I feel like I'd remember that. Okay, here we go. Jasper World Order coming in hot. That was a good theory, though. Disaster stream. Yeah, shut mm. it down. Here we go. Do you think Phil's making up the chargebacks? Because it seems awfully convenient that he's doing it now, during all this other crap that's going on. I just want to get your thoughts on that. Great show. Thanks. This one's new. I never heard this person. That's, that's new. This new. This is new. Yeah. Okay, finally, let's start the show over. Hello, everyone. We are here. Throwing it in at number 11. <laughs> it's a good edit point right there. And we're getting to our new voicemails. Thanks so much for calling in, guys. Um, so are the, the, chargebacks, the chargebacks fake lore? Um, I mean, it could easily be. What, 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 I, I think, I, I'm sure people try to charge back a lot. I'm, I'm guessing, like, all the time. But he just chooses to bring it up when it's, like, convenient for him, right? That's, that's my guess. Cause I'm... Yeah. If, yeah, if they're real or not... Um... There's uh, there's some uh, some boy who cried wolf going on as well because we've heard we've heard uh, 
differing things from him about whether or not he can, you know, challenge them successfully. You know, sometimes he he's he can uh, win them. Sometimes he he can he, you know he's not sure. So um, it, it's hard to say. Uh, you know, it, what I would what I would, what I'm getting at is that if if they are real, then I you know my my sympathy with him is is minimal because he's he's lied about it at some point yeah for sure and so. really that's why if you saw my twitter ask piece of piece about this his income now is so so reliant on whales it's it's incredible like if he doesn't get at least a 50 dollar tip it's it's he's not gonna get gunner glasses basically anymore when it mm. used to be a much more buildup of smaller people five hours here five hours here those days are gone it seems in the last two weeks especially where there's yeah very few small tips and just if he if the successful stream it's someone donated 50 or 100 or something like that so i think this yeah. those charge backs don't even hurt him because like the trolls that say like stupid shit with two dollars they're probably the ones that are just trying to charge back everything but people that donate Maybe. 50 dollars out of nowhere i, I don't know is it it's it, it, people that are trolls that stupid to try to do that i, I mean there are trolls out there that are that stupid i mean i don't no. know I mean, maybe. I hope not. <laughs> you know, the, the, I think you know. I think we're all just in agreement, most of us, that you know, you just don't tip him at all. Is the is is the the the, the, the unwritten rule, I guess, isn't it? But um, <laughs> he can't feel good though. Like, he, can you really feel like a successful businessman? Um, you know, when you're you're putting on a stream and it's and it's you know it's slow, it's not going well. Um, and he's clearly not having a good time because of it. And then all of a sudden, someone you know comes in at the last minute, and it's like, yeah, you know, and it's like nothing's happened, and it's like, okay, and now it's a successful stream, you know, and it's just like, you know, this isn't this isn't going well for you if that's what you're, if this is what it's come to now. Yeah, and like you know. everyone, here's the thing, especially when when someone like him, he's waiting for those big whales to come in, and he'll say like, at first you guys weren't really into the game, but now it seems like you guys are like it. One person donating fifty dollars changed the opinion of the whole stream of everybody's yeah. opinion. <laughs> hey, at first you guys were really into it, but then it kind of turned around. We guys kind of rallied here, and everyone was having a good time. <laughs> no, one person decided to give you fifty dollars, and now everyone's having a good time because maybe you're ha actually half entertaining now, even though it's usually clown mode. It's you want to shoot yourself. I mean, if, but he turns into clown mode, and I guess some people enjoy clown yeah. mode, Phil. So it, it's really bad. I mean, it's really. It's so transparent, right? If a game, you see him just struggling, like fishing stream, especially. He got the lure goal like two weeks in a row now. But before, but that first time he didn't get the lure goal, it's like this is the worst game of all time, you know? Yeah. Engagement was yeah, good. I've been going, we had it was it was I've, okay. He just sitting there like trying to get you know. It's just no fun at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been going over that um, that whole Bassmaster <laughs> saga that was going on a few weeks ago. Um, cause I don't, I, I think at the time I hadn't really seen it all. Um, but I've been going through it for a reason, you know, just to, um, to, to get the whole kind of context, you know, the pre, the, <laughs> the during and the, uh, and yeah. the post and that stream was ridiculous. Like, you know, the, the, my favorite part about that stream, just sorry to veer off topic was the, um, you know, it, obviously he was showing the laws <laughs> throughout the stream, but the best bit about that was the, uh, it was the, I'm just going to. I'm just going to close the box here and I'm going to put it over here, you know, and it's just, <laughs> oh, oh God, I can't believe you're doing this. You know? Like a little kid with his toys that he can't play with. And he's just, he's relying mm. on the chat though, to be able to bring it out. It's like, this is so chill. Yeah. This is such a chill atmosphere. Holding us hostage yeah. to see your shiny lures that you hold up to the camera. Like here's some glue, hot mm. glue I have. Here's the hot glue guys. Yeah. Remember, hundred dollars, you get it's, this it's, gorilla. It's a gorilla ape like creature. This is an ape-like it's, creature. It's very adhesive-like substance in here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was so like I was I was gonna say adolescent, but it's not even that. It's just really weird and childish. Oh that god, whole, uh, that whole episode. We got a lot of people in uh, chat room as well. Let's get out here. Michael in the house here. Everyone knows Michael calls in every week here. Loyal caller always has the fire takes. Michael, are you here with us? And he's in. Here. What's up? Question or comment, my friend? Give it to us. You had two weeks off here. Well, Let's hear it. Well, on the on the memberships, it really does does feel like last well, that was gifted memberships. You can tell Phil was struggling, and it is very apparent that he's not getting those gifted memberships anymore. 
and we are sort of work if time does keep going we are going to see his real numbers and they're going to be very interesting of uh, being in the like 200 300 mm -hmm. i'll give him maybe he had like 300 fans quote unquote but i just believe he doesn't have is that he's struggling <laughs> as bet you start seeing what he streams like i think if you know the whole story of how humans to stream that mm -hmm. one yeah 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 that one was mm -hmm. I haven't seen it, but it really, again, it just, you know, you know, I said, I really want Phil to see what happened if Phil returned to Persona. Mm -hmm. I regret it <laughs> because he's going to be, he's going to become, he, we're going to see every modern Twitter comment about Persona you're going to hear and basically on Persona 4 and don't ask about that. It's stupid. It's dumb. It's this is what happens when we when you when mo when you try to when modern internet becomes attacks a 2008 game. Mm -hmm. But another thing is, yeah, his streams are kind of struggling. He's trying to he's trying to do the short stuff. So trust me, he's gonna he's gonna drag that out. He's gonna do everything he keeps on doing with shorts. They're gonna be boring as hell. But he's not doing anything new, and especially the fact he does look like he's aging. <laughs> he's obviously looking worse because not you don't you won't notice because he's on that other camera. But yeah, yeah. He is definitely looking terrible. And then oh, just not forget about the whole situation with his his wife's birthday. He's <laughs> yeah. still on that damn fucking burger story. <laughs> I I was home on my birthday twice since the pandemic started. Uh, mm. Yeah, that was a that was a funny one for sure. Uh, the can't let it go for a year like if it was okay if you're a streamer and you have a funny experience at burger king you might talk about it that same fucking day but you yeah. don't remember it the next fucking year 365 days later you have the same rage still built up inside yeah. you it's like what's going on man i mean let it fucking exactly. go and he used the word yeah. like retribution who talks about retribution with fast food <laughs> that is on his own wife's birthday it really does show how much he doesn't care about that woman yeah and again i would say this I've gone from between I feel somewhat bad for Kat, then I don't care about her. She's a fat bitch now. But the fact that he, he really does show that Kat only exists as sympathy, mm -hmm. as pity, and when he needs to pay bills. People are like, I need to go out with my, with my quote-unquote wife. <laughs> Kat is basically our Barbara to, to, to the DSB community. And we all know how that went, <laughs> if you catch my drift. My... Oh, don't worry. Phil's a, pure, Phil's a Puritan asshole who will never touch a woman. We're good. We're good. We're... Michael, your takes are always oh, fire. I'll let you. Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll let you. I'll, I'll... Go ahead. Go ahead. Struggling. Uh, struggling very much. You're... We're going to see how he's going to play with Splatoon 3. And my prediction, he'll drop that game in like a, a week. All right. Two we'll, weeks. We'll check, I'll give him three. we'll check on that next week, my friend. Michael, take it easy, my friend. You too. All right, Michael in the house. Yeah, that Go ahead. That Burger King thing. Like, I was just going to say, like, for for any other streamer, that would be a funny thing. You'd bring it up as a laugh, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then your chat might grab hold of it and turn it into a meme, and then maybe you've had, you'd have, like, an emote of it or something. But Phil does the complete opposite. It's like he rants about it, you know, with conviction, you know, as a real thing, um, and then brings it up a year later as well. And it's, and yeah, just to cap it off, it was on his wife's birthday. Yeah. And, and he was like flexing on that. Like, that. okay. Like no one, if, if Burger King is in your wife's birthday, things went wrong. Right. And like, you don't like yeah. talk to your bros about like, yeah, well, we went to Burger King. It was really cool. on my wife's birthday. Like no one's saying that, you know, just like, no. I understand there's some things that can happen that you, okay. Couldn't go to her first choice or something. Maybe you can't yeah. go to her second choice for some reason, but at least you can, I don't know, call ahead. I mean, you don't, <laughs> you know, like, I don't, yeah, exactly. you could put a little bit of effort into something, not like, all right, we're a Burger King now. And like, and, and like, don't, I don't know. It's, it's too, it's too and much the fact, talk for the stupid the, the, topic. I know the, the fact that he had it sat on his OBS as well. Cause sometimes he just randomly bring it up and like, who would have that on their OBS? But you know, it's just, I let mean, me remind you, here's what it was. And what do you expect is in there? He expects, like, oh, my God, it's greasy. It's like, what do you expect to be in there? I mean, do you Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Next voice message here uh, by someone you should recognize. Sam, you on that one? 
Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah. A bit behind. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Here we go. Awesome. Yes, I have a question. How can Phil says he changed when it's not the manner of his content that was the problem? It was the content of his character. Mm. Love the work you guys doing. Pastor Eric Miller, love you guys. I cherish my my award very, very happily and humbly. <laughs> Hope to see you guys soon. That was Pastor Eric Miller, of course. Where he wasn't recipient of his awards, the Strokey Award. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna re- replay that beginning one time because I'm not sure. I, it was, it was a little bit of wordplay that I missed on. I'm gonna play the beginning one more time. Please forgive and me. And it's here. not the manner of his content that was the problem. It was the content of his character. Okay, so it was not the manner of his content. It was the content of his character. Hmm. Interesting way to say yeah. that. I mean, I think that's the base. I mean, that's why Phil has so many problems is because it's not exactly, you can't really blame the content when with the content just what comes out of his mind, right? It's about what he thinks about stuff and what he says about stuff. Right. I mean, mm. I don't know. I think, yeah, I don't know what else to yeah, say about it. It's just true. You know his... what he says is true. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. I've been listening to some, some pastor Eric recently and um, funnily enough, I think we around the same time when I, I think it was the second video that I did that um, is, is is DSP a content creator. Um, I think we we pondered the same, you know, we were coming at it from different viewpoints possibly, but, you know, we I think we were both getting at the same thing, sort of asking, you know, is this actual, is this content? Can, you know, I don't, I, I say I don't like the word content. But, yeah. You know, can, can what Phil, is what Phil does, can it be, described as content you know where it's just kind of the same thing day in day out he's yeah. just hitting record you know there's no effort you know what is content sort of thing and yeah so it, um but as for the, you know the question i'll just i'll just say you know i agree yeah yeah Pastor that's Eric. what i say too like you just made a good comment <laughs> i have nothing to add because it's mm. true because it's uh it, it like you, the, to your question of what's content i think phil knows his gameplay is not his content anymore it's just the drama right that's why he leans into every single bit of drama he can possible you know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. But anyway, so let's go. We got L Show Shoney in the house here. Question or comment, my friend? The floor is yours. What's up, Insider? What's up, Sam? Hey, hey. Got a got a question, uh, scenario question for you guys. Kind of like last week with with, uh, with Derek. Cool. I know the chat liked uh, like that one. Yeah. So let's let's be in that in that kind of same uh, same vein, okay? Yep. So let me set up the situation for you guys, okay? So you go out with your group of friends, right? Not your different other, your friends, mm-hmm. right? You guys go to a restaurant. You might even call this a traditional sit-down style restaurant. Okay, <laughs> okay sit-down style. So you, Got it. Yeah, sit-down style restaurant with your friends, right? You go there, right? And you're getting ready to order. And your waiter comes up, and your waiter is Slayer. Now you're thinking, wait a second. Doesn't Slayer live in Singapore? <laughs> right, but he moved over here because the time zone difference was just so much, and he couldn't stand to not bear to watch Phil. So he moved over here. So you can watch Phil when he's live, right? Okay. Okay. So Slayer's your waiter, and you're there with your friends, right? Now, the question is, do you tip Slayer, (laughs) and do you tell your friends something about it? Ah, yeah. Well, okay, assuming – because I have no clue what Slayer looks like. So assuming we know what Slayer looks like where he says, like, hey, my name's Slayer, you know. Yeah. Yeah, assume assume you have knowledge of what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is him, yeah. Okay. Well, would I tip? Yes. I, I can't go without tipping, so I'll definitely tip. Mm-hmm. Would I talk oh. to my friends about the the legend of Slayer, though? That's that's the question. Sam, what do you think? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Where, obviously, you know, we've said before the, the culture about tipping is different over here, so I'd probably have less uh, of a problem about not tipping him, mm-hmm. I guess. But, um, yeah, I reckon I'd probably say... You know, this guy... how would you? Then the next question is, how would you explain it? Like, uh, you know, like, uh, well, he he likes he likes some K-pop, and he, yes, that's what I would start with. Yeah, I'd say he likes K-pop, and what was it? Science videos about space was it? Or was it? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I, I, I need I, to watch I, the new I, ones. I have not watched the new ones. No, I'm behind on my my Slayer react video yeah, watching i only something. watched the first k-pop i haven't seen the rest but um me i would not tip him unless he gives me a whole bunch of like drinks for free or something like that's the only way i'm like i'm not giving this guy any money because <laughs> it's gonna be wasted i'm like no and i would tell my friends don't give this guy money 
this guy is weird. He has like playlists of kids and us, Derek. But I'm just gonna say that it's a lot easier. <laughs> like, don't don't give him your money, guys. Just just don't do it. Just just trust me. There you go. Another good question from Elsher Shorty. Let you go, my friend. Thanks, man. See you guys. Yep. Good stuff there, See, as man. always. I guess you like by you know you're indirectly tipping Phil, aren't you? I guess. I think that's the, the that's thing. the pro that's the crux of the question, right? Is like you know mm, it's going to yeah. Phil. So with that tip, I. Uh, Call me, call me old fashioned, but I think you. St- I can't not tip anything. I think that's kind of. I don't. I couldn't do that. I could not tip anything. Call me the softy, yeah. but I couldn't do that. <laughs> Jeez, Meerkat coming in hot with his opinion there. Not safe. Yeah, not so safe well. for 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 repeating. Susan will come get us. I think. But let's go to the next <laughs> voicemail here, and uh, let me make sure I get the right one right up there. And let's try. I was going to say all of these are. Pastor Eric. Oh, yeah. We got uh, a few Pastor Eric's in a row there. So skip those. Go to the first one that says Bro Janky. New one, though, because it was sent yesterday. So it has to be new. Oh, okay. Hang on. I'll race the My next one is John. Is the one Uh oh. Hope I didn't miss. What number was that one, my friend? Uh, 83. Okay, okay. Uh, Yeah, 82. We're on 82 right now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Got it. Got it. Okay, cool. Here we go. From Bro Janky. Three, two, one, go. Hey, appreciate you guys taking my call. Also, big ups on that interview with uh, Jaha and Boonke. I thought that was real cool. Mm-hmm. Shed a lot of light on some questions we might have had about early DSP and stuff. But uh, it also got me thinking about a question. So DSP's legacy, right, Re- whether he likes it or not, will always be the guy that got caught jerking it, you know, begs for money, berates his viewers. Like, that's what he's leaving behind, whether he wants to admit it or not. So if you were to sit down with him, man to man, you know, nobody else in the room and ask him honestly, are you proud of who you are and what you've done? Do you think he would just shrug it off? Like, yeah, yeah, I love my life. YouTube, it's everything. I love it. Or do you think he would answer honestly? Because obviously we know that that's, that's, that's a play, right? Like mm. he knows and everyone else knows that the what he does is not normal. Whether he, you know, in his YouTube fantasy it is, but in the real world it's not. When those cameras go off, like, he knows he's begging for money. His, Like, if anyone asks his wife, what does your husband do for work or stuff, like, come on. You know what I mean? So <laughs> what do you think he would say if you asked him, are you proud of who you are? Like, I just wanted to get you guys' opinions on that. Uh, big ups. Love the show. Appreciate you. Bro Janky, again, I, that's, that's a great question. It's one of my favorite questions uh, we got because it makes you really think uh, into the mind, right? Is, would Phil, does Phil, would he, would he literally answer the question honestly? And would he not be tricking himself in his mind, right? Because, I, I, let's get real, he has convinced himself he's doing something important, I think. But, in his heart of hearts, does, it, does he think that's true or not? Because, you know, he, he'll tell us, of course, he's doing meaningful content. That's my favorite word he uses is meaningful content. Yeah. But does he really, no, really I, believe that? No, he – I think there's one person that he might tell the truth to, um, and that's a might, you know, and that's that's Cat. Other than that, you'll get the same response you'd get on YouTube. I think he's, you know, he's, he's – He's repeated himself enough times. He's, you know, he's, he's, he, he's, sorry, cat hair. Um, <laughs> he's, he just, he repeats all this stuff about, the, you know, he's growing, he's happy, you know, he loves his job. Um, he's repeated all that enough times where he probably, you know, pretends he believes it, I guess. Um, I don't think you'd get an honest answer from him, no. I, for sure, I, no. I wonder if, like, if, 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 let's pretend he doesn't think it's meaningful, right? He knows it's all bullshit. I'm definitely a beggar. Could like mm. would you have who has the strength to, to to do that for how many years he's been doing it like just I really am a beggar and I have to that's all that's my life right now I guess if you understand that's what you have to do to survive which is if Phil wants to continue his current lifestyle that is what he has to do but mm. damn yeah that's a that's a that's an interesting one I, I guess when that we can't we will never know of course. But um, oh yeah, <laughs> but there you go. A lot of people voting. Thanks so much for your votes, guys, in the poll right now. Zero to ten is winning, Sam. So uh, most people out there, forty percent of the people out there, think that he will do five more shorts within the week, and that's it. So uh, that's yeah, interesting. I, that was that was my vote actually, but I'm thinking it's the second one now actually because um, 
when you put it like that, you know, him only doing five more. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we'll get slightly more than that, but only slightly. I, I, I feel like we'll get one a day is my, my answer. <laughs> yeah. I think from now on. And like, I want to know what he, back to the other question. I'm still in my mind. Like, I'm sure to his parents, he probably talks it up, doesn't he? Like, he talks it up like he's changing the world, you know, with his content. You know, like he says, his content and his Twitter. I don't know. Well, yeah. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, he might talk he might talk to them but again i don't think he's going to be honest i don't think he was honest even when he had that the 10 year plan talk with his his mother yeah you know, that was i don't bullshit. think there was i just know, imagine that would... level of deception you're just oh, deceiving the family <laughs> the jimmy's here jimmy's here yeah go ahead jimmy, hello, jimmy. Hello, <laughs> uh, what's going on yeah go ahead you keep going you're a part of the show now oh it was like uh the level of deception like i mean not just self-deception because i i don't I think he does kind of somewhat believe that his content is like in quotations meaningful. Yeah. Cause it's like, you know, maybe when he gets those like weird emails, if those emails even, even exist where it's like people saying things like, Oh, Phil, I was really depressed and your content made me feel happy when I was feeling sad. And he's like, you know, that's really worth it. My life's been tough. <laughs> and My life's been I tough. think maybe. <laughs> what? Tough. So, <laughs> yeah, this happens. Tough. Um, tough, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. But um, I think he does just deceive himself into thinking it. I don't know if he actually believes it, but he manages to like uh, pegnosis himself, mm -hmm. like the self hypnosis. It, but it's like it's just so much to it. I I don't know how he can't not see that his content is just kind of garbage especially when compared to everyone else like when I, especially when i was talking i think i said last night about how cat was essentially a better content creator than her yeah yeah even the basis that she just had a better setup <laughs> like, like it's kind of sad this woman who had no like she just did it out of the blue and she just had a better setup than him yeah, yeah like that's it doesn't it's... take much more than that to be better than Phil, really, does it? You know, that's that's literally it, isn't it? And there's there's people with better setups, uh, uh, you know, a dime a dozen on Twitch. You know, you can click on any random stream and find any anyone that's, you know... That's oh, yeah, there's people with it. zero viewers that have, like, ten times the setup of Phil. And their, like, room mm. is set up effectively. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't take a rocket scientist oh, to do that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Phil is... Sitting there in front of the junk pile, literally, literally just a junk pile in front of toys, <laughs> like just, and he, it's just embarrassing that you've been doing this for fifteen years and that's what you're doing is like you're you're doing like you don't have anything. And it's not that he doesn't have a green screen, like he has these things to set up. Like yeah. he, I remember, he has the stream deck. Like, can you imagine? A world yeah. where Phil could seamlessly bring up the burger photo and not have to do <laughs> the hit the like, hit the burger photo button. <laughs> yeah, the burger photo, the fucking sound box. Yeah, they think about like his sound effects are literally something he holds in his hand and goes like da da da. Think about that. <laughs> Sounds don't even work anymore, and he's like. He's sitting there with a one hundred and fifty dollar Elgato stream deck that I don't know who donated it to him. Let him never donate things to Phil unless it's like consoles or like <laughs> computers. Because it's never gonna get used. Like mm. you could donate him a new car and he wouldn't fucking use it. Uh huh. Like it's that kind of thing. It's it's so fucking bizarre. No, he but said he like that nonsense like the fucking like rich. Like, what? You donated a car? Hold on. This is weird. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I the the buttons. <laughs> Sorry. I know I'm telling you my car's broken for days and I've been begging for money and you want to but you wanna give me a new car? Yeah. That's stupid. Um his, his, whole, his whole legacy really is just this kind of like just it's just a mess with no no quality control or anything like that it's just like spam shitty videos you know keep churning shit out now he's just like happy to put up random youtube shorts with no you know with no thought put into them two years after they're like you know the hard thing, any yeah. kind of effective yeah it's just like 
that's the thing, right? It's like when new technology is implemented that could benefit him, he never adopts it. Like, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I work in chefing and I know people who, like, you can't, you can't really run a restaurant unless you have a social media preference. And, and every single restaurant has, like, a TikTok now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, as much as you might hate TikTok, and I fucking hate TikTok, but it's like, you kind of have to do it if you want to be successful in certain fields, yeah. right? If you want to be a successful chef or restaurateur or tattoo artist or streamer or anything, you need a fucking TikTok. That's the reality. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But Phil... or whatever the, the the latest thing is, just yeah. yeah, you know, you know, you adapt with the times, basically. Yeah, you adapt to it, and it, it benefits you because it can get new people over. And like Phil just won't do it. Like I guarantee you. YouTube shorts won't be around for long. Like, no, maybe no, 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 no. I swear to God, he's going to do 10 more, and it's either going to be one or two things. It's going to be an other schedule posting format where he can just do another schedule post, <laughs> or it's never going to happen. He's just going to get bored with them or annoyed with them and never do them. Oh, yeah. Like, You're right about that. <laughs> no one can argue that. The, um, the, sh the shorts reminded me of something this morning, actually. Um just because of how how kind of boomerish she is with them, it reminded me of um, do you remember when Facebook was new, and like yes. it was kind of it was cool for a little while, you know, where it was like you know you 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 you'd go on a night out and the pictures would be there the next day, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, before you wake up and it's just like okay, this is cool, you know, we're all there like poking each other and yeah, all that, and then everyone's mom and dad started getting uh -huh. into it, and it's like mm, it literally okay. just on Facebook at this point. <laughs> Really, yeah, exactly. really uncanny. And it's, it's just it, like that's a good. It's that's a like good now, comparison. It's like this, it's just like it's like messy. Like you know, it's only your 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 auntie or your uncle that you know you don't really talk to, so kind of using it, and they're just spamming shitty jokes and memes. Yeah, and yeah. It's like, just like they, that's set, they exactly send the worst memes of all time. It's like, oh god, I gotta yeah. get out of here. <laughs> Even down to oh. the way he um the way he's filming them, like he if you notice, like the first second of them is him looking down to see it's recording and that just reminds me of like uh you know your dad or something is this on let me just uh, and then he looks up hey yeah, guys yeah you know, yeah, it's just yeah. Like, yeah that's what reminds me of. it's also it's very reminiscent of like your dad because he probably hasn't upgraded he has not upgraded his phone in forever and that's yeah. something well, yeah would actually do like your dad would never upgrade his phone in forever uh, he's also yeah. Wasn't he wearing like a newsy cap in one of the recent ones? Oh god! Was that like it's, it's a, what it's kind a of cat beret, is But he's not wearing it right. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna tell you this is like I, it's. I was gonna make a short myself. I even started filming it. This is like lost archives. I, I just <laughs> I couldn't make it funny enough, so I was like, I, I got my wife's beret out. And I was putting it on, trying to make it short. But I was like, fuck, it's not funny enough. But maybe I'll show you one uh, day. But fuck. But alright, Jimmy, we gotta let you go. People are gonna piss, bud. But so, also, awesome for your Sorry. stuff, man. Right, thank you. You've all been classy ladies. Goodbye. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. Oh, I did have a quick thought about just you know how how you. Can, I'm guessing you can like use the audio, but you but film something new. I, yeah. I, I did have a thought about like you know getting one of my my kids little toy pigs or something and just holding it up to the camera and yeah you know, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's too good. But all right, let's go to the next voicemail here. It's uh, from John. Sam, if you get that up. Yep. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah, I've got it ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Hey, guys, this is John. I'm a uh, recent subscriber to the podcast. I've been getting caught up on all the uh, back episodes here over the past couple of weeks. Anyway, a few episodes ago, ALT and one of the guests had expressed, you know, some level of sympathy for Phil's mom, something along the lines of, you know, that poor lady. I couldn't disagree more, mm. right? I mean, to, to, to my way of thinking, she is most directly responsible for creating the monster who is Dark Side Phil, all right? Phil is on record as talking about how impossible she is to deal with, right? I mean, like, she she never admits she's wrong. She never backs off a point. She just digs in her heels. She never loses an argument. That's Phil, right? She's apparently the one who, uh, you know, inculcated him into this uh, cult of uh, cat lady uh, fetishism. I mean, that's, that's nuts. Uh, she's also the one who gave him the great advice to simply walk away from his Connecticut uh, condo, just stop paying on it. And that's what started his whole bankruptcy, right? I mean, from everything that I've learned about this lady, she's got to be filling a lady with. <laughs> anyway, you guys are doing great work. Bye. John, I think convinced me. I think, I guess he's right. It, it is, we can, I guess I'm too sympathetic of the current 
situation that his mom might is probably finds herself in when Phil's asking her for money all the time. But yeah, I think John, I think you're probably right. I think you did change my opinion a hundred percent there that we Phil's who Phil is, is probably more thanks to his mom than anyone else, I guess, you know, I mean, it is right about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. I guess it's, it's easy to forget, isn't it? You know, that, that, that is probably the root cause, you know, you mm-hmm. don't, you, you it's, you know, you're not always going to think, oh, this is because of his mom, you know, but yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> I know. I mean, what I guess there's so many factors that goes into what Phil is now. Uh, and we can never know what, you know, the, what's, what's his mom's fault, what's Phil's fault. You know what I mean? But man, mm. uh, well, it's, you know, it's, it's probably part that and part, you know, that he, he fell into something that made him feel more important than, uh, then maybe he should have. And yes. Then he got used to it, and now he's now he feels he's he's owed that same level of, su- of success. So we get that kind of the the personality that he is now. This kind of like sad, um, you know, bitter old man. I guess you know, almost. <laughs> yeah. you know. I guess John. I don't. I never. I don't remember the lore of it was his mom's idea to stop paying for the condo. I'm not. I'm not, definitely yeah, not saying you're yeah. not true on that. I just don't remember that part of the lore. If that is true though, Chad. I'm sure you could let me know, but. That's an interesting little wrinkle there because that did what – well, <laughs> it did make him go bankrupt, which is bad, but it is kind of good, right? Because he got rid of $150,000 of debt. So, I mean, well, yeah. maybe it was the right move. You know what I'm saying? But let's get the next caller here. Caller coming in, coming in hot. Uh, a name I don't think we've seen before. First time caller, possible. If you're not, please let me know, but I believe you are. And that is nice to see. Always nice to see everybody here. Our mm-hmm. legends in chat here. Thanks a lot. Which one is which one are we on now? Oh, sorry, I'm doing uh, I'm doing a caller right now. Next one will oh, be sorry. next yeah. one will be number eighty four though, for messages. Ooh, okay. But they are not answering the current call, so we might have to skip you, my friend, new caller. And I will do that now. We'll keep you in the line though, so if you want to come back, please do so. But we're gonna go to the next caller. An old friend of the show for many, many months now. Stray beans in the house. Question or comment, my friend? Hey, how are you going, guys? How's it going? Hello. I'm sorry to hear about the Queen, Sam. You must be devastated. <laughs> oh no, it's you know, it is what it is. It's it's not it's not unexpected, is it? It's going to happen. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> I just want to talk about this Kaching Kaching sandwich story because I think it's a fucking absolute pearler of a story. It's up there with emergency. Ooh. It's one of those classic. It's one of those classic stories. And if you if you haven't heard it, people out there, go and find that stream because it is, I think it is amazing. Like, it's a classic thing of Phil where you've got to, like, dissect and kind of deconstruct what he's saying and figure out the truth behind it. Mm-hmm. And it's 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 amazing. It is. Like, is it top? Okay, you're saying it's top tier. So you're saying maybe top five ever? One of these going to let it? I'm not saying, like, all Phil's stories, but one of Phil's kind of – Day after day off, kind of story, that kind of thing is top tier for you. Absolutely. <laughs> and if it got like if it got like that Crimson King treatment, I think it would be amazing. Oh god, like, would we love just, to see that? I'd love to fucking see that. Just, just the the amount of shit he fucks up in one day is is like amazing. Like it starts <laughs> off and he's like, "I went outside. It was Sunday. It's way busier on Sundays." Who would have fucking thought? <laughs> you could have gone any other day, dude. You could have gone the next day. Like, he goes to this restaurant. There's a massive fucking line. He's like, "Oh fuck this!" And he's got to pretend that he doesn't want to go to Burger King in uh-huh. front of Cat. Yep. He's like, "Oh, oh god, we, I suppose we'll go to Burger King. This is terrible." And he's he's loving it, right? He sees <laughs> he sees somebody that's probably homeless. That turns into I saw people shooting up heroin oh, directly yeah. in front oh, of my god, face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah, know that never fucking thing. happened. You know that never fucking happened. Yeah. Not even close. It was probably okay. I'm thinking. I'm using Phil's racist mind here, not my own mind. It was probably like an African American person was walking down the street, and that's what he thought. You know? <laughs> yeah. The, the levels in it are amazing, and if it was this sort of thing where you could, someone could animate what actually happened instead of what he actually says, it would be good. People, then, what, like, go ahead. Yeah. And then, like, his birthday treat is going shopping with his wife, which is just fucking. How, that's pretty fucking lame. I don't think that's particularly romantic. They do that every uh, week. They do that every fucking week. <laughs> totally. But it's a, it's a better treat because he goes to a different fucking strip mall further away. So that's... That's that's the treat. So so classless. <laughs> he, goes to this, he goes to this sushi place and fucking apparently abuses someone. But he doesn't. He just, he just finds out, you know, 
he says he swears at whoever he's talking to. He doesn't. He turns around with his tail between his legs and fucks off home. Yeah. And then he's gonna do. Then he's gonna do this thing of like, oh man, what what are our options here? There's like, oh, there's there's another sushi place close by, but I suppose we could door dash it. You know, like <laughs> this really odd door dash. It. It's like you can tell the entire thing was. He didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. It was just like something you had to do. Um, yeah, and you can just die. you can just in my mind, I can totally see what he's doing. Yeah, and the real the story. Yeah, yeah, the real story. Yeah. People playing basketball means there's oh this street this street's bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's yeah, like we... it's the, what's crazy is this whole thing was part of a flex. You know, it's like he's part of this proud like wife's birthday outing it was so crazy, and it happened a year ago. Let's not forget this. It's not like it happened yesterday. It was a year ago, and he still harps on this and has I... to re- relive it. <laughs> In the middle, there's that thing where he sandwiches too much sauce, and that's, and that's the best part of it as well. He has a sandwich with too much sauce, which is fucking, you know, uh, a crime against humanity. Mm. Yeah, you can see the whole thing, can't you, actually? We need someone to, like, pick up the mantle of, of animating uh, yeah. Phil's story. That's got to be up there. Also, the potential one was the uh, the, the picking up the, the fishing lures one as well. I don't know if there's enough to that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a little bit, shorter, but I think yeah. it was more just it was more just Anne Leap making it funnier than it probably was. <laughs> I, was I lost it. Oh, my God, I lost it. He's like, uh, yeah. excuse yeah. me, sir, you're fine. Excuse me, Garçon, you're fine as lures, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we would probably just need Anne Lee to, to, you know, to retell that story yeah. in his way and, and, and animate that. This is the most unhinged part. He uses the word restitution when talking about a fucked up fast food order. Like, who yeah. thinks that? <laughs> yeah, I demand me, restitution. Because... What the fuck? <laughs> that's, that's because he's just got so little control in his life in general. He's got he's to make a mountain out of this molehill because I, he think, I, I think he thinks... This is one he can win, whereas everything else in his life is just a, a loss, really. I will, I will say really quick, if people yeah. want to hear that video, there's a, there's a channel called Aqua Teal. Yeah. And it's called D, the video is called DSP Acts Like a Karen on Cat's Birthday. I'll get, so it. I I can, I'll get in the I chat can... right now. I'll get in the chat for everybody yeah, right she, now. She re-uploaded it recently. Yep, here we go. It's going to be in chat in two seconds. Here we go. All right, Straight Beans, I'll let you go, though, man. Awesome story, though. No worries. See ya. Take it easy, man. Legendary caller Stray Beans. There is the video there. Uh, watch it after this, of course. We're going to go to the next caller, and I believe it is John. Sam, are you ready for that? I don't think I'll have that one, actually. It goes from 83 to 85. All right, I'll put, it, uh, I'll put it fresh in the chat for you here. Ready? It's going to be the last bottom one. Oh, no, we already listened to John, didn't we? You're right. John was the last yeah, one. Yeah, it's, it's my fault, 84 my fault. is the one I don't have. Sorry. Okay, my fault. And and we'll do this one instead. We're gonna go to eighty five right now, okay? Okay, cool. Here we go. Yep, I'm ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, playing it. Hey everyone, two D two Will here. And recently I watched a talk by John Taffer, the host of Bar Rescue, who is also a successful businessman himself. And one thing that really resonated with me is that he said that the biggest reason businesses fail is excuses. And so, as we all know, Phil makes a lot of excuses for why his business is failing. So my question to you is, what do you think are some of Phil's worst excuses for why his YouTube channel has been failing all these years? Oh, great question. Good question. That's one of the questions where the more lore you know, the better your chance of answering it interestingly. And so what what are the best reasons Phil has for his YouTube failing? Uh, there are a lot of them, um, but but mm. the my favorite one I put it on Twitter. I'm gonna bring this up, pimping the Twitter out. Is because Phil literally said during his one of those, um, what's the Fortnite kind of game that came out for Fortnite? I can't remember. Whatever. Uh, PUBG. Yeah, PUBG. <laughs> he was playing PUBG. He says, "You know why Ninja became ca- famous? Uh, Ninja became famous, and I didn't. He was a character. He was playing a character, and people loved him for that." I was never a character. That's why I didn't blow up like that. <laughs> What's funny mm. is, what did we hear three weeks ago during the Say You Don't Play? I was playing a character and people love me for it. So which one is it, Phil? Which one? 
Yeah, there's a lot of which one is it uh, in in DSP's history. Uh, <laughs> no, the, the the whole membership thing recently is quite a good one. That's got to be up there, you know, saying that uh, it's it's because of trolls. You know, that's a that's a massive <laughs> excuse. Um, yeah, just because trolls is yeah. blanket statement trolls. I mean, if you want to get targeted. It's not well. The trolls started it, but Phil's mistake of deleting those videos is what led to the real downfall of the channel, lo losing like a million views overnight. Right? That, I mean, that's that's the most successful ops of all time in my mind. Is that that someone gave him art? I think for the pre-stream, claimed it. Yeah, I believe so. And Phil panicked and deleted the videos. And Machinima yeah. never told him and to that do that, and he said Machinima did, but they did not say that. And now I'm, I'm not right in saying that now, now that's why there's a big hole missing in, you know, if you, you go to search for something that happens, I want to say around 2016, there's a big sort of black hole of, of just nothingness where it's almost like if you want to learn something about Dark Side Phil, you really are, um, li you know, relying on detractor videos. Yeah, I, I, I think you're I think right about you're that. Wrong. But there was a time when he deleted every, 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 you know, case of that intro being there, just... And that like killed his search results, killed his algorithm. How much is that? How much did it really kill the algorithm? I don't know, but it definitely hurt his view count and income for a while there. And he never recovered yeah, to be well, those. Yeah. That was the peak of his. I mean, he's not the peak, but he was definitely higher than he is now, and he's never been back that close. Well, yeah, I mean, if it was that around that time as well, you had the double whammy of um, uh, what's it called? The apocalypse as well happened around that time. So you, you there was a real kind of shift in in the way youtube worked i guess and then plus that you know it's gonna it's gonna fuck his channel up basically <laughs> yeah yeah and, uh, your boy and obviously he go ahead he obviously let us know that as well you know your boy with a good one here um that that remember he did complain about leanna leaving and messing up his eating schedule that was a good one. <laughs> oh yeah that's a great one. Oh god yeah what a fucking asshole mm, <laughs> all right yeah let's get to the next caller here uh here we are Thanks so much for being here with us, guys. Lefty in the house here. Question or comment, my friend? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we got yep. you. Come on, ALT, Sam. Uh, let's just be real clear here. Uh, his YouTube failed because he made it fail. Mm. Uh, back in the day, what he was doing is he was uploading 10-minute videos, and he was uploading, I mean, tens of thousands of them. Yeah. And the algorithm was recommending that. And the, the, the people that designed the algorithm running YouTube did not want his garbage and garbage like the crap that he put out to be what YouTube recommends. So they changed the algorithm to not recommend his crap. And he wants to say, oh, that's everybody else's fault. But no, his gar his content was crap. And that's why it failed. And that PUBG stream that you mentioned, uh -huh. where he's like, oh, Ninja is a character. <laughs> yeah, look at that stream. Because during that stream, I, or uh, maybe it wasn't that specific one, but it was during a PUBG stream. He's talking about how he's so excited that he's squirting pee everywhere. That pee is squirting everywhere outside of his body. Are you serious? So, yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm making pig, a pig go that. I'm squirting making a note for everywhere. myself it's here. There. <laughs> making a note. Anyway, some, hope my wife doesn't see really this good note. Lore in those. <laughs> squirting there's pee everywhere. There's some really good right? lore in um, in PUBG videos. It's it's weird. Yes. It's like he um because obviously there's a lot of quiet time. He's and maybe his brain's kind of not telling him not to talk quite so much. There's there's a lot of like weird little moments where he's he's a bit more you know open. I guess because I I've I've got a couple of examples sitting mm. in a. In, a, in a, a video edit that, that may or may not be sat on my hard drive. <laughs> yeah, the, the PUBG streams back in the day were just gold mines for, yeah, like what you said, you just hide in the bathroom, never fight anybody, <laughs> wait for the circle to kick him out, and he'd just be ranting, reading tips, and then if there's no tips, he'd just talk about something stupid. So, yeah. Yeah. And then he'd say, like, I got mines. fourth. That's pretty good. Like, you know, like, what? Yeah. How old are you to think, like, yeah, the well, I did quick. great. Uh, anyway, I, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I, I yeah. haven't really been keeping up with uh, the lore or anything over the past couple of weeks, but I did watch a Meerkat stream okay. where uh, he was did that whole segment on the Steel Toe Morning Show uh -huh. where the guy was like, Phil, just, you know, he, he won. Phil won, guys. Look, you're handing Phil the W. Uh... And I just want to take a moment to just bask in the absurdity of that idea. Sorry, the absurdity. Yes, the absurdity <laughs> of that idea. That a you know forty year old man that spent his whole wife's birthday talking about this one epic story a year ago in Burger King is somehow winning. Let's be very clear, he lost like 
decades ago. I mean, before he even made his YouTube channel, he had lost completely. Winning was out of the equation entirely. Like when he was in the FGC, they completely disowned him for things that they that he had done in the past yep. before he ever, you know, it was his whole life just kind of got revealed to all of us. And we started digging and finding out like who he really was. He was already disowned by the only community that he really identifies with. And he still thinks he's a part of now. And even then, like the guy that was like, oh yeah, you know, this one guy named DSP is a total piece of shit, by the way. <laughs> Pretty sure that was before uh, anything controversial happened with his YouTube. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. That's, that's it. All of, all of Jaha's yeah. stories from last week happened before he was this big YouTube dude. You know, it was just like, yeah. he, he was known for his FGC nonsense and then they just hated him for that alone. You know what I mean? Like that was it. <laughs> but, like, I, the, of saying like this guy somehow is now winning when that has been off the table for <laughs> decades. Well, and, when, it, when you're someone like those that show, which I'm not going to talk too long about, but they pretend they know about the situation and they see the base base level of what he is about. And okay, Phil made a hundred dollars today. I guess he's winning. I, you know, I mean, if that's how you think about it, I guess, you know, but it's not, we know any person that understands even the second, you know, little bit of the lore of Phil, and we know the truth, but, you know, they don't understand that. They don't care. So that's how it is. But, yeah, he's a narcissistic spurg who just likes attention, and I'm sorry I gave it to him, but Meerkat talked about it, so it's fair game. <laughs> there you go. Lefty, you're a legend. Thanks so much, my friend. Bye, right, boys. Later. Thanks, Mom. Good stuff. And, uh, yeah, go ahead, Sam. Well, no, I was just I was thinking about what Meerkat said in the chat actually about the current algorithm, saying you know it's it's easy to play to, and that that's you know that's true. There's always a way of of gaming the system, which mm. for some reason he was okay to do back in the day, probably because it suited it it suited how he is as a person. It, you know, just lazily upload shit constantly. Yep. Uh, but now it's like you know I, I don't know it, it does involve a bit more effort, but yeah, like Meerkat says, he's just he's just lazy you know and he's not willing to to um adapt in any way i think that's like phil got that's maybe phil's luckiest thing is that his kind of style youtube rewarded that kind of style right like they said like okay the maximum video you could the maximum length you could put up at that time was 10 minutes so that made phil put up eighteen thousand videos a day and that was good back then right wow this person put out a lot of content people are watching it the algorithm's like all right cool and Phil didn't think about it. There was no thought there. Just was just lucked into it, and then, and then of course it took him eighteen thousand years to change, and he still hasn't changed a lot of the same the same, you well, know, no, habits, no. you know. But where he's, he's, yeah, he's he's changed, but in the most kind of like little and, and you know insignificant ways. You know, he's not he's not willing to to put in the work to uh, to actually adapt with the times. I know I keep saying it, but you know, I just think he he. He never grasps what's current and and uh, and does it at the right moment. It's always like, you know, it's like with everything. It takes years of, of people saying you should be doing this now, quick, Phil. You know, you, there's this thing over here. You know, you should be doing it, filming your fucking game with a camera. You know, that took him ages enough to to, to stop doing that. It's just, you know, it's always one thing after the after the other with him. Oh, and by the way, I, when I was saying squirting pee everywhere, my wife was laughing, so thanks for that. She's in the room here, wondering what we're talking about on the show. I try to keep it like, you know, we're just talking about a dude on the internet, but if I say stuff like squirting pee everywhere, it's going to be problems. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> let's get to our I'm next... look that up afterwards. I know. <laughs> People are, I know what this is about. We're, we're contributing to Google's piss searches, I'm sure, on Pig Pig Go. Uh, let's get to our next voicemail here. Mario Faker at number 84 saying, you got it there? I posted it. Our first caller ever. You got that, Sam? Ready? Sorry. I turned you uh, up a bit on my end, too, so I think you should be okay now. I know uh, people say okay, you're yeah, low. Okay. Got that ready? Mario Faker. Oh, yeah. Three, two, uh, yeah, one. Ready to go. go. Hey, dudes. Mario Faker here again. Good to be back. I uh, just wanted to follow up on what Jaha said this weekend about Phil's addiction. We can all see that he goes straight to the app every time he gets a money buff. We can all see that. And we know that Phil is an avid reader of Kiwi Farms, so he knows that we know about his activity, but he does it anyway. I mean, he just can't help himself. I was thinking, though, the one way he could dispel this conspiracy theory is to have Cat log in during, during when he streams and, you know, purchase a couple of Hogan's or something. 
we would probably be down, dumbfounded at that point. But as we all know, this is not an option. He is hiding this addiction from her too. Yeah. So he'll never do that. <laughs> anyway, love the podcast on Sunday. Thanks. Awesome, Mario Faker. So wait for us to dispel the rumors. But yeah, it feels doesn't have that much thought into anything, my friend. I think you, you, it would be an interesting idea, but he's not got to put that much work into it. And plus, he can't let her know about any of the nonsense, right? Like, yeah, no, it, it's uh, it's just sad to think about. It really is, you know, the idea that she doesn't know. You're That's the this. sad, yeah. yeah. She doesn't know what's going on with that, and like. Who knows what he tells Either her, right? Like, Who knows what he tells yeah. her? That's the sad thing, you know? I bet he said, like, Either it's free now. It. It's free, you know? Yeah. Either way you look at it, it's sad. Like, because if she knows, then she should be trying to just to get him help, basically. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, we can't do anything about that. We got another caller here. Cosmic Ape in the house. Question or comment, my friend. How you doing? Hello. How are you guys? Good, good. Hello. Um, It's been, it's been some time mm-hmm. after these couple weeks and a lot's happened yep but question sure for both of you um phil kind of went on a tirade of like the old trolls versus the new trolls and you know the old trolls were cool because they didn't want to kill me and have me beheaded on live stream and all this crazy nonsense (laughs) so my question to you guys is kind of a double dip um what do you think will happen with phil in the future because we know he's kind of like bound to this by fate like he can't not live stream <laughs> so what do you think his future will be versus what you want it to be hmm. so I, I personally it's hard for me because you know other people involved if it's pretend pretend dsp was living by himself i my fantasy here he's not he's not supporting anyone else in his life i hope it i would hope for the slow slow as we're seeing now happen i would got kind of wish it would continue the slow slow decline the the panic goes up the manicness goes up the desperation goes up the begging goes up we get to see all that just turn up until the whole universe is watching dsp at this point saying like how does this person exist that's that's mm-hmm. what i hope I, and remember i'm forgetting yeah. about a cat i'm forgetting about a wife it's just dsp and just the slow slow fade until the whole internet can't ignore like oh my god this person exists <laughs> What do you think, Sam? <laughs> yeah, like like doing hot tub streams and watching like all the latest detractor con- content and yeah, talking yeah. to his trolls and yeah. whatever else. Yeah, I don't know. But, I, you know, we've said before, you know, it probably won't be like that, though. It'd probably just be that he one day disappears. I hope not. But, you know, <laughs> um, what was the question? Sorry, again, it was like... Uh, it- it's um, what do you think will happen oh, with Phil in his future, and then what you want. Oh yeah, so I answered yeah. what I want. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. What what I think is going to happen is I think what I think is going to happen is going to happen. So that's I'll, I'll answer that with the same. I think it's going to be like that. I mean, it's going to be a slow fade, and one day Phil won't be there, and there won't be a stream, there won't be a tweet. It'll be off in the sunset. That's what I think. Hmm. Yeah, I th- I'd have to agree. I think. Yeah, I think it's. I, I, I hope I hope he doesn't just disappear one day. I really don't, because that would just be the most <laughs> disappointing thing ever. I but agree. Yeah, be... He can be entertaining, but as it happens, it will be very boring. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the oh, that's yeah. the sad truth I think too. But all right, man. Well, <laughs> Good question, Cosmic Eight. Hope to see you again. Thank you. Uh, real quick though, yep. how did you like those um uh those joster this is how you don't plays i recommended oh yeah dude that doom was so awesome oh my god that one joke I'm, I'm gonna t- it's gonna be it's gonna be horrible but like there's mancubus jumps up and the dude put in put phil's voice on the mancubus and like please subscribe to my patreon <laughs> i lost it man that was so awesome okay. i'll put a link there to was that one, <laughs> there was one in the doom eternal where i think it's the pinky demon but it's uh or the the one that floats Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the k- 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 car, car, something, car. Yeah, yeah that, that one. Guy. He made it rich, or not rich? Ah, uh, wing is he? And it's like, look here, listen, look here. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, God, you guys. It's so good. The outsider, legendary. Just so you don't play. Search for the outsider in Doom. It's it's really. It was good. Joster, Joster. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, you're right, Joster, Joster, Joster. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And a cosmic game. You said one more that I couldn't remember, and I'm glad you called because you said the Doom one. I found that one, but you said some racing one too, right? Yeah, Crash Team Racing. Crash it's Team Racing. Just, I didn't watch you know, that yet. I, I want to watch that still. 
Pick on any nobody in specific. He just starts raging pretty early on, and it's amazing. <laughs> All right, man, you're a legend. Thanks so much for that recommendation. It was awesome. No problem, guys. See you. <laughs> Awesome, Cosmic Gate. That was, I was like, all right, you want to watch it? He said to recommend it. It was awesome. God, it was awesome. Joster Plays is truly a legend. Um, and I'm going to go to Okay. Yeah, it's really good to say you don't play. And it was the first, I haven't watched them in a while because like, I kind of watched all the ones I heard were good or someone even suggested they were good. But I never watched that one. And that was a really good one. I was kind of got the old, my old, uh, how I used to enjoy Phil was purely through this side you don't plays. And kind of got those old nostalgic, man, he's really bad at games. You know, feeling back. Uh, but Phil, we're going to... I mean, Phil. Jesus, sorry, Sam. Fantastic Mr. Sam. We're going to go to voice message number 86. <laughs> <laughs> and it's from our first ever member, a legend. And uh, here we go. You ready for it? Three, two, yep. one. Let's go. Hey, guys. Um, this is Kendrick Cold. I don't really have a question. It's more of just I'm happy to see the show going places. And I look forward to it every week. Look at that. That was just a beautiful, nice comment. Thanks so much, Injured. You are the first member we ever had, and we'll never, ever forget that. You are a legend. Thanks so much. The highest order legend there can possibly be. Thanks so much. Everyone's a legend, and Injured is a very special legend for being the first member. Thanks so much, Injured. Let's go to our next caller here. Still got the room is pretty filled here. I want to get to everybody possible tonight. Black Lightning, are you there? I am here. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. Question or comment, my friend? Pretty good. Question. So, no matter what DSP does, like, the racist comments, like, how he treats his wife, or just, like, how he treats his audience, in a weird way, I just feel kind of bad for him. Like, hmm. he's so original with, like, all the things that happen. He thinks it's always someone else's fault. And I just think, like, man, like, is this a sad life to live, you know? Yeah. So, my question is, what do you think has to happen for him to actually make a change in his life? <sighs> mm. That's a tough one. And Black Lightning, I'm with you sometimes. I I, I, I do th see that side too sometimes. Like you know, a human like that can exist. I do feel bad for it in some way, but I know it's. I I then remind myself, or I list, I watch a stream for two seconds. And I forget about those feelings because I he does it to himself and he. But I think what will have to happen is he has des the des desperation gets enough where I don't I he has I, I don't know I don't even see that though right because if let's say he gets like literally can't do this anymore is he gonna go in a stream and say all right guys I made mistakes but I'm gonna try to you know not beg anymore something he's never gonna do that never fucking no fucking no. way I think at right. most <laughs> we we might get halfway to that maybe and where he kind of you know he owns up to some of it but it doesn't lead to anything it'll just be you know a reason to to ask for more money I don't think it'll be you know I'm going to try and better myself it's just going to be look this stuff's going on you know you know maybe he'll even admit to the you know the the bank leaks or the you know the the addictions or whatever and say but but he's not going to try and, and and change that he'll just you know, it yeah, will just become right. the the next saga. Good question. Good, good, okay. good. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, Black Lightning. Oh uh, no, you're good. Yeah, I started yeah, good. Kind of going off. Of, like, is it even possible for him to change? No. Because like you, I could kind of see like in a way him acknowledging like his past in a way, maybe him him trying to improve something. But like <laughs> even still, it's kind of like he still does the same thing. Yeah. So it's kind of like. Could it even really be possible? <laughs> I think it's going like, to... Someone had a good comment in chat. I'll make sure I give the credit. Yeah, Harry Otter Gaming. Health scare. That kind of stuff, right? Mm. Like, he's getting older. And like, let's say he's he's gone for 14 years. What's another 10? Then we're talking about a 50-year-old gentleman. <laughs> a classy gentleman. <laughs> a classy gentleman. And that's... That that is where health problems. As the older you get, the more health problems you all have, you know. And it's maybe that'll take him. Like guys, I literally can't sit down here for eight hours a day anymore. I gotta, I gotta. That's is that is that what it's gonna take? I don't know. Black lighting. But that was a good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, take care, guys. All right, you're a legend. Thanks, man. That was a good question. It makes you think. I mean, it, I think that's I think that's a good thought though. It's gonna take something like that, some health or. Maybe pair. Oh, hey, what about when the parents start going? Going is no. He could just milk that, right? Oh, my parents. So I got to take care of my parents, guys. I got to fly across the country. Now I got to do a funeral. Now they want to do a wake. That's extra. Can't believe they want to add flowers. Are they kidding me? I got to pay. That's a thousand dollars. You know what I mean? That's a, you were gonna hear that nonsense. You know? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yep. 
They want to have flowers here? Oh, I told next time I told them, no flowers. The next time someone dies in my family, no flowers. That was a thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like that's we're gonna get that nonsense, you know? But oh, God. yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go to the last voicemail in the hopper. Zach Storm. You got that one number eighty seven, Sam. That's gonna be our last I'm cut I'm cutting this short on the messages. No more messages for this for today. Thanks so much for all the messages, but we have read enough for today. And we actually had some double dips earlier. Can't believe we let that happen. I don't think I have actually, sorry. I've got, uh, I'll I've click got it. I'll, to click 86. It. I'll link it for you. And there, there it is. Go. Cool. We got three, two, one, playing. <laughs> Dark Angel Storm here. Just a small little question. What do you guys think about DSP only just getting sushi for his wife? And don't make no quote about getting her a present or a card on mm -hmm. her birthday. And also, it's slightly also funny that her birthday was on a Tuesday and he decided to stream all day instead of spending time with his wife. Very, very bizarre. And also... We've lost the Queen in our country in the UK. Do you think he'll also mention about that in his pre stream to make money on a dead person again? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> good ending. <laughs> good ending. Every every message should end like motherfucker. That's good. But yes, so first of all, let's go backwards. Is he gonna mention the Queen tomorrow in his pre stream? Yes. Oh my god, yes. I can't wait to hear him explain the royalty, the royal family. <laughs> That's gonna be the best. <laughs> I'm so, just wondering what word he'll get wrong. You know, how will he mispronounce monarchy or something? No, someone, in, someone, in, something like someone in the Discord said monarchy style government in the UK. Oh, exactly. <laughs> That'll be the best. Exactly. Um, we'll get something. There'll be something. Something that, that wrong. Yeah. 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 They, they, they used to. Uh, I'm not going to guess. But um, the, the other question, though, is like, he, of course, he didn't take off for his wife's birthday, right? Did not take off. And. What's tough for me, what makes it sound worse is that when he needs to make videos for his Slayer, though, he can take off for those. That's yeah. not a good look, man. That's not a good look. You know? And I know you could say he's working with the Slayer videos, but you could, you know, I, just think about it, man. What's your, where, where are your, 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 uh, your, your not loyalties? Where's your, pre where's your not preferences? What's the word I'm looking for, Sam? The uh, priorities. priorities. There it is. Priorities. Yeah. Nothing I could do. Priorities. Like, that's really yeah. bad. And, like, there, you're right. There was no mention of a present, which is fine. You don't have to tell us everything. But I, I think no. if he did do that, he would tell us, right? Because he's trying to flex. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. There's no, it doesn't make any sense, you know, for someone that, that, that can literally do their job whenever they want to you know <laughs> he, for some reason he okay yeah having a schedule is a good thing and sticking to it is is better i guess yeah but, um uh but he can choose to take his missus's birthday off you know there's nothing it wouldn't be so bad if he then hadn't had a day off later in the week it's like what, what? Oh, yeah, it, I don't get that at all. <laughs> it's just a real. If if he gave her a card, he'd flex it, and he didn't do that. So I'm guessing he didn't give her a card at all. And like, when money's tight and you can't get a nice present, all right, cool. But you you know, giving a card is something you can always do, guys. A little little guy tip there. You can always put something in a card, no matter how much money you got. You can write a nice card, my friends. Always do that. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, thanks so much, Small Dragoon, for becoming a legend. You are definitely a legend. Thanks so much. Let's get to our next caller, who everyone will recognize, I believe. He goes by the name of Prophet. And he is in the house. Hey, gentlemen. Now. How's it going, my friend? Question or comment? Go ahead. Afternoon. Uh, comment. Cool. On Jimmy's uh, uh, little chat there with the Elgato Stream Deck. Yeah. Like he, remember when he did the Elgato Stream Deck, when he got it, he said he couldn't use it because it only supported Windows 10, which was full of shit. Because <laughs> there is seven drivers on Elgato's website. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I believe it was the Elgato Mini. That he got. Mm -hmm. I, th I think you're right and about that, yeah. Like, right away when I heard that when he got donated, he was like, well, I can't use it because, you know, I don't run Windows 10. And then, so I just looked online, and I'm like, sure enough, he's got a Windows 7 zipper. I'm like, no, he's full of fucking shit. <laughs> and then was it, it was a folk, maybe like six months ago on Meerkat stream. Yeah. Phil, he had, Meerkat had played a video of Phil 
and it feels like, oh, I installed Windows 10 and now my landscape view is all screwed up if anybody knows how to fix it. And I'm like, but you are running Windows 10. Uh huh. So there's no mm. excuse there. So, but it, like we talked about it today earlier in the Discord. Phil just wants to plug it in and it should work. Yeah. He doesn't want to have to, like with the green screen, that was all done by John and Howard. Phil didn't, Phil bought the green screen, yeah, but he didn't fucking set it up. Oh, hell no. Because he doesn't know how. Like, and we ran into that, too, when he had, when he was complaining about the Dairy Queen stream, right? Mm-hmm. When he yeah. ordered Dairy Queen because his phone was out of date, he was blaming Dairy Queen for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking assholes. Detractors. Just, like, those, like, such an unprofessional company. <laughs> and so like, the phone's out of date, and they called it right away on, on Jad's bingo stream. And it was just like, you fucking idiot. Like, this is why yeah. you have to update your software and your drivers yeah well the thing is with the stream deck like he, he using it couldn't be easier you know it is literally like you you click the thing that you want to happen and you choose the thing you know that it happens to or whatever um but i think you know in terms of how he has his obs set up i don't think it would work for him because he you know we've seen it like he doesn't have scenes set up he just literally yeah. has uh you know he has one scene presumably with and he changes it just before he starts playing his game you know he'll he'll drag his you know he's, he's like let's just get it let's just get set up here and his webcam's too big you know and he has to resize it into that stupid box <laughs> and uh you know so he would have to have for it to be of any benefit to him he would have to have that stuff preset um you know and also uh he would have to have you know sound files which are really hard to come by aren't they you know like <laughs> you know for, for his you know for his sound clip so it, it would take a little bit of, it, of 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 effort for him to set up and that's yeah. not something he has time for so you know yeah. he'll go to great lengths to come up with excuses to not do stuff I mean, that he'll put way a lot of work into that but it, <laughs> yeah. so i gotta run here guys about work later man Thanks for your call. Yeah, thanks for the show. <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, Prophet's a, a legend for sure. He's always in the Discord. Cootie the Kid coming in hot with the, with the legendary membership. Thanks so much, my friend. And uh, Prophet's a legend. Thanks so much. Get to our next call here. We're clearing out the room here, winding down here. We are a little bit over time here. But Dr. Gnome in the house, question or comment, my friend? Uh, it's a bit of both, actually. So first of all, shout out to all the boys out there living in strong, keeping it going. Sweet. But um, in reality, uh, for you know, does any of this really matter? For DSP because he can just kind of keep grifting and living and surviving mm -hmm. and um, I just don't see where any of this goes he's just going to keep surviving and cockroaching out of all of his problems but uh, it, in a follow up question do you think DSP would ever really like go out and explore Seattle more because I've been there a few times kind of a great city but especially now with the Seahawks they just traded away Russell Wilson they got Drew Locke from the Broncos in that trade so I'm currently taking the over <laughs> on the uh, Rams game tonight, okay. and then I'm going to take the under against the Broncos. So I'm just trying to see what the field is here right now. Um, <laughs> beyond that, uh, you know, you know, you know, RIP the Queen. Shout out the King of Suffering for taking over the throne. Shout out my boy Declan. That's about it. <laughs> All right, good stuff. We'll answer your question for sure uh, here. But I wonder, like, what will, like, the question was, what will Phil will Phil explore Seattle? No, I mean that's hell no. <laughs> no way he does that he's too he doesn't want to and he has a great excuse of like the trolls will do stuff or whatever right i mean that's the easy out it's for just Phil. Like, you know he keeps bringing up the fact that he wants to go to the zoo he's been talking about it for years hasn't he and it's like well couldn't you've done that on your birthday like why is it always like it's literally like the only thing he ever talks about doing on his day off re revolves around the consumption of food you know and that's it like <laughs> How, surely going to the zoo isn't that expensive. No, oh, I don't know. No, yeah. no. <laughs> just I don't know. <laughs> smoked it. Yeah, but it just Phil is is he the, the original thing he said was could he do this forever? And I don't think he can do it forever. Really, I mean there is going to be an end to to whales, right? There is an end, you know, and the number of people watching him is going to keep going down. It is it, at some point we're not there yet, right? But we're going to get to a point where a fifty year person playing games, it might be more acceptable than it is now but i think there will be an age i don't know what the age is where it's just people that are younger will not want to watch this kind of person play a game anymore i know we're in 2022 where it's cool to be a gamer no matter how old you are but 
there is a limit, I think. Or is I, I know there's that one that one like uh, you know older lady that plays Skyrim and she has a lot of fans and mm-hmm. stuff, but she's very much the exception. Will there be a 70 year old Phil that people think is cool to watch? Like I really don't see that happening. I don't see no. it. <laughs> so there is going to no. be a timeline here where it's going to come to a natural end, like the sun. Even though the sun's strong as shit right now, at some point it's going to run out. I think Phil's like that at some some way, you know. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, although I'd love to see it. I'd love to see this, like, bitter old man. I mean, I know he already is, but, like, you know. Yep, yep, yep. Like, 30 years' time or something, assuming he lives that long. You know, like, uh, yeah, that would be something to see. All right, guys, so we're going to do three more calls right now. Everyone in the everyone in the, the call right now, of course, we'll t- get to, but I'm going to end it right here. Three more calls. We're already in uh, seven minutes overtime here, so I want to kind of mm. make sure we get to uh, – Sam got to get to sleep. I got to get to food. We've got stuff to do, but Meth Bear's in the house right now. Question or comment, my friend? Uh, big ups, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, just trying to just going back. Um, now with the the fact that Kiwi Farms has been taken down, hopefully temporarily, by um, well, some people who let, let, let's not get into that. <laughs> yeah. But um, the fact that uh, now he's you know his retconning because he thinks that Kiwi Farms is gone and the information is out there is gone. He's he's going back and changing his narrative um and the fact that uh you know out there on twitter people are like oh he's denying the bank leaks ever occurred etc no there was somebody who was it um was it the cat had said uh what about the bank statements he says there are no link bank statements now this is still (laughs) being um a little being like a thought a bit Mm -hmm. using his semantics yep um just saying like oh no you and i think i mentioned this on you know in the discord it's like when when she tells you Oh, you asked me if I slept with someone else, and I wasn't lying when I said no because I actually slept with a bunch of guys. You only asked me if I actually slept with one <laughs> by your question, so I wasn't lying. And so that's what that's what he does is that he goes and he has these semantics that it, it, bank statements were not leaked. Monthly statements, um, you know, they weren't. It was just a running transaction total on the phone. That's what well, that's what it was, and so that's what he's attacking. Now. I, I think that I didn't hear the question, but I sort of heard you discussing it earlier because I couldn't hear it through Discord. But about like, does he believe what he is saying? In a way, when it, by the fact that I have to deal with narcissists in both the family court settings and the criminal court settings, um, by the fact that they're just so combative and they just want so much control over things. Um, in a way that if they see something happening, they have to come up with a reason why other than them yep and it has to it has to be shaped with the victim narrative and in which um you know he, he tries to straddle that line of being both the conquering emperor and the downtrodden victim that people are just constantly spitting on uh, and he he does it very poorly and it just ends up you know mixing up his narratives about the, the chargebacks it's sort of i win every single one so if you give me money don't even bother trying because you're not going to get it don't try to take my money because i win it every single time because you're a moron and you you know <laughs> fuck your mother but it's uh but then he's like oh my god guys i need so much money because all these trolls are stealing money from me and my positivity yep. and it's it so he tries to he tries to run both but he can believe both at the same time it's perfectly normal because it, it, it has to be something else it's it's almost like um in the movie memento mm-hmm. have you seen that movie yes before? yes i have you, you know when um he was sort of like he was he's going frantically and when he that little it's sort of like when he can no longer form memories he just goes wait it, it's sort of like it's just a little switch can click in their head in which you know he, they could be thinking you know maybe it could be me maybe it, it could be um maybe somebody got offended by this and then they'll just go wait no, that's impossible. People loved me before This Is How You Don't Play came out, and then This Is How You Don't Play came out, and then all of a sudden my money start, started to go down, and I started making less money. That's when people started hating me. It was because of that. It wasn't because of anything that I was doing. There was It was all these outside forces. That's, that's just how they work. So what he's doing now, yeah, he's going to live in his little pony jar sitting next to the radiator, just wallowing in it, <laughs> and um, that... Eventually, you know, the, the money is going to decrease because OIC, if he can't 
you know, if he can't, uh, you know, get him on the casting couch, uh, he's probably, I mean, that sociopath might end up stopping supporting him. Because always he wants to gape that fucker, you know, oh. like no doubt. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Now, now the thing is, the, the issue is eventually he's going to start, he's not going to have enough money to keep the champions rolling because with money, in order for you to be a big timer on champions, you require a lot of money. And so people, even though he's technically not dark side Phil, according to him, people know that guy has a lot of money. He's a baller because he, you know, look at his rankings, look at his, look at his deck and um, what he's able to do mm. to keep his score up. All right. Yeah. So that gives him a sense of pride. Like I have a lot of money, money means success period. And, um, and, and he can control the fact that he has that really high win rate. Eventually he won't be able to do that. He'll be spinning plates trying to keep the house and keep everything else going and i think that he will end up switching relying more and more on alcohol oh. eventually because that that's cheaper than the polls yeah that's because true. you know and but the problem with alcoholics is that the more you drink the your higher resistance and you have to drink more in order to get the same effect and now he he might not feel it um you know just like a way heroin addict after a while they don't get high after shooting up but they need to do it or else they get sick yeah and he might he might not feel happy anymore but he'll still be you know he'll still have the slurring he'll still have the coordination problems and um you know that's when the entertainment will start and i don't feel sorry for him not one bit because he he you know he's a broken person I, I don't think therapy would help him if it did it could be unwound like that that's the problem with narcissists it's almost like it becomes vaporware effectively you can have somebody who could technically admit to the problems and really work on it but uh at the drop of a hat they can just all of it be undone and they'll just go back to what they were doing before the self-destructive behaviors and destroying people around them because it you know it has to be all about them Damn. and so he, he's doomed he is doomed um even if like i said even if you were to get him to do something or even say something, you would have to put a boot on his neck or be displacing his eyeballs with your thumbs. And the, the moment that you take that boot off his neck, he goes right back to doing it. It's, it, it's, it's impossible, but we just, you know, just sit back and watch the dumpster fire and, you know, eventually it just gets worse. That's what I'm here for. And he, he'll lose the house eventually. He'll lose it eventually. And what's interesting, what's just shows his massive, you know, idiocy is he says that uh, refinancing will solve all of his problems and he can come with a smile on his face. And it's how, what, what is he going to have to pay? He's almost done with the back taxes and all he would do is just be taking on more debt. Um, when he, if when he refinances that refinances the house, which he should be able to do in another two years, because after declaring bankruptcy, um, your standard uh, mortgage cannot be refinanced for four years mm, okay. unless you get a unless you get some sort of waiver uh, for for good you know some sort of good cause waiver, and um, you know what I'm just trying to figure what the hell does he think he can do with that. I mean, he's, he'll end up blowing it on poles and DoorDash and his usual, you know, bullshit. And then he'll just be back to begging. And so <laughs> I would love for him to do it. I would love for him to definitely do it and um, just blow it all and uh, be back to crying again. So just you know, go from there. Just yeah. Be entertaining. So yeah, fuck this guy. That's all <laughs> I can say. Meth bear coming in hot. That was a legendary call, my friend. Thanks a lot. Yeah. And so much right. to unpack there. We can't unpack it all. But I would say, like, yeah, your last point I will cut on is refinancing is not for, like, you know, what 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 other things does he have left to, like, pay back besides taxes, right? There isn't anything, right? He makes enough money to pay all his basic bills every month, right? I mean, what else is there? It's not like it's a get-out-of-jail-free car when you refinance and, like, what now? You still have to have income it's not like you know it's not like you're getting a treasure handed to you right i mean i don't get that thinking either right. at all right there's nothing there, there's <laughs> really there's no other debts besides the back taxes his his state um, business and occupation tax it's really small it's it, it, i think the calculation was if he say if he was making like one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year it would be something like 1750 per year in business and occupation tax and you break it up over the course of a quarter over you know quarterly yeah and so it's not that much in the grand scheme of things. It's very, very low. But a lot of the taxes that he pays is that 
digital goods tax every time he does a poll. That's where <laughs> a lot of that money goes to. He it would he would have been saving money on WWE champions if he went moved to a different state that didn't have that digital sales tax that they they do in I think it's it's either Seattle in, in, in that area or it's Washington State. I'm not sure which one it is. Yeah. But you know it it wouldn't help him paying his taxes because. He's not going to let it sit because he's just going to think the money's going to rot mm-hmm. if, he, oh, if yeah. he doesn't do anything. And he has to, he has to spend money to do anything. Going to the zoo, okay, he shits himself thinking about going on the freeway. He just he just <laughs> and he just soils himself thinking about getting on a freeway and going fast. And so he takes surface streets everywhere. He's a coward. I mean, he he has no moral courage. He has no physical courage. Um, if anybody broke into his house, I think that he would push Cat towards some murderous rampaging um bath salt you know uh, druggy whatever and just let her get eaten and he would run away and scream you know and he, he would he would be one of the people who would be in a horror movie who can have a gun pointed at the bad guy and just scream and not pull the trigger and let themselves get murdered he's that type of a you know of a, just a freak so it's it's literally it's a half an hour drive and it costs like 25 bucks to get into the seattle zoo he has no excuse saying i can't go to the zoo it's an hour away it's an hour away because you're a coward (laughs) okay and everything in your life is because you're a coward because you're mentally ill you piece of shit and you did it to yourself and it's funny watching you just descend into the dips of hell and you know just wallowing in the cage of your mind i love it stay there please god all right now i gotta get off because i don't want to up too much of the time from these people but you know <laughs> meth bear mic drop often. awesome right. meth bear coming in hot with the legendary call there for meth bear sam what are your what are your thoughts there what a legend um, i thought is meth bear needs his own podcast and uh <laughs> you know a, yeah a that's that's a good point yeah. i mean we could have you on maybe i gotta say good barrett yeah. wells thanks so much for that generous super chat my friend did not want to let that go by that was uh so much thanks for your generosity my yes. friend that's awesome thanks barrett uh, let's get two more calls now I didn't want to cut off Meth Bear because he was on a roll and I was like, we got to go. I know no, Sam's yeah, dying here. Sam's got to go to sleep way past his bedtime here. So let's try to get through these last two quickly here. Fantastic volume two in the house. Question or comment, my friend? Uh-oh. If we can hear you. There you Sorry, go. Sorry, No problem. Bad. How's it going, my friend? Good. Quick question. Get guys out of here. Hopefully a fun question. Yeah. Um, something still did recently that really I can't get over is during the closet stream, he pulled that fan art out. I was like, oh, yeah, someone drew this for me and just threw it away. And that has just infuriated me. It's like a Joker moment, basically. Yep. So what do you think Phil has done that has infuriated you so much that you just can't, you can't get over? <laughs> so much. But I'll let you say, if you have one or you want me to go first? My, mine yeah, I've you, talked about many times, but I, mine is always just the, the, the guilt tripping of, of, of people that are able to be guilt tripped into giving him money, right? That's the one that pisses me off more than anything. When he's fi- the the fishing mm. fishing lures are a great one, your yeah, boy. That's a good one. The hey guys, yeah. it's shiny. It's like come on, man, come on, man. It's not shiny. It doesn't need to show this. Where's my ape style creature glue? Here we go. Ape style creature adhesive. It's shiny, guys. Yeah. You want to see this, right? You want to see this? And he talks about the merits of the lure itself, <laughs> like that has any. That's any iota of, of of relevance in what his his goal yeah. is but go ahead sam what's yours mine's a kind of weirdly specific one and this is probably something that would change from day to day but um <laughs> i always think about that time um and i've put it in one of my videos where he uh he oh, i forget the guy's name it was something like um jowl scowl or something like that it was yeah. someone in his chat and he belittled them for for suggesting that he should ask his audience questions oh yeah um, yeah that's a good one in turn you know have an interest in your audience um and that always gets me because you really should you know especially at at the 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 kind of level that he's at where that chat's not exactly moving at 100 miles an hour (laughs) it's literally just yeah the exact words i think that's not how this works Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can I can recite that 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 rant word for word. Um But yeah, that's a good uh, question. Always, good question. Good question. Chat has some good answers too. Labor Day rant's a good one. Get your ass out there and work. President's Day rant's a good one from your cat there. And oh, Fantastic Mr. Sam already already left us. So thanks so much, Fantastic Mr. Sam. That was an awesome one. Last call of the night comes from DJ Runo. Legend. How you doing, my friend? Hey guys. Hey guys. Question or comment? Yeah, I hope it's all right. Yeah. The mic. Uh, I just wanted to make a comment. Go ahead. 
because I, I wanted to talk about Cat's birthday, how it was unfortunately ruined, and you gotta think, how is it possible to let, you know, you have a couple of people living rent-free in your head, Team Star, uh, Review Tech, it's a chicken sandwich <laughs> living rent-free in a penthouse. Like, great. <laughs> Come on, it's a sandwich world. Yep. I listened to the story he told. Apparently, from what I can understand, is he was still at Burger King. You know, they ate like in the parking lot uh -huh. because he said he, they couldn't get in yeah. because it was locked. You know, he couldn't go back in. Just just drive back into the drive thru Get your fucking napkins. Complain there. No, he had to do it online. How can someone be that scared of human interaction? And like, don't you check? I mean, I don't like you, but I check what I get when I go to fast food, and I say, okay, let's make sure I got everything. Oh, only two napkins. Hey, can I get a few napkins before you just drive away? But Phil just expects everything to be perfect. It's like a five star restaurant, you know. And it's <laughs> when it's not that way, you you see what happens. He remembers it for three hundred sixty five fucking days. But uh, yeah, I mean, he doesn't. He also expect them to give you cutlery, even though he eats at home. Like your <laughs> kitchen is not that far away, and why are you not prepared for your mukbangs <laughs> feasting with the king? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not difficult. What do they expect me to do um, with this? <laughs> oh come on! Like it, it's at it, it, sometimes I really do think about why are you doing this to yourself? Like come on, it's sad. It's sad at this point. Oh. Also, with the YouTube shorts that he started, it was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Uh -huh. he, he, suddenly, yeah, I'm going to try it and drive. Yeah, which would be um, fair enough. It's a good thing. Yeah. He had the review of mid, this, this fighting game. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. It's a good idea. But how about you don't hit on an idea first for weeks or months mm -hmm. and try it out first, and then if it's bad, shit on it. Not shit on it first and then try it. Oh, it's not that bad. And the first thing he said, oh, can I monetize this? Yeah, like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> like seconds that that was in the that's the reason he's doing it, by the way, is he yeah. thought some reason he'd get more money from this. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, you know, that, that video, the first one he did, the first short, yeah, where it's, it's like it's uh, you know, every, it's everyone's been everyone's been talking but about this. Every, oh sorry, man. Go ahead, Sam. Uh yeah, like you know, the, that that is a video that he should have had out like 18 months ago you know everyone's been talking about these so i just thought i'd do a quick one and you know of course he he has to sit on it for however long and now he just looks like like we say you know just looks like an idiot yeah you know. but i right, did jay bruno you're a legend thanks man i'm gonna let you go yeah see you <laughs> awesome dj bruno coming in hot last car of the night yeah demater that's the great point they never told him you to check your order they never told you that you have to check your order before you leave the fast food. So, of course, he's not going to do it. I mean, why would you even think, think that? We're idiots. But, all right, long enough. Let's reveal. Remember, if you're a member, you already know this. But if you're not a member, you don't know. Our guest is going to be the legendary Pastor Eric Miller is coming in hot this Sunday. It's going to be a hot one. We knew we had a tough you know, tough follow-up because last week's, last week's show was a very special one. So we had to get a special guest for this week, and we did it. So, it, it, Pastor Eric Miller is going to be in the house. Can't wait for that one, Sam. Any final mm, words here yeah. before you get off the bed? No, nah, just look. I'm looking forward to that. I really am because it's you know it's it's going to be interesting to hear, uh, you know, similar similar things to what we're used to, but maybe from a slightly different world view, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a good one. Yeah, if you haven't seen any of this stuff, um, I'll post some in the community tab in the next coming days just to get you. If anyone hasn't watched him, he's definitely a character, and I love how he, how he speaks is, is cool. <laughs> That's all I can say is how he speaks is cool. He has some strong opinions, and what else do you want for a podcast than that? So that is it for us. Thanks so much, everybody, for being a legend in chat. Everyone that became a member, all our members, everyone calling yes. in, listening, messages. The show keeps getting bigger, and um, you know that's why we keep getting longer. We go to overtime every time now because we have so many people that want to talk, and it's really a lot of fun. I can't. I, I can't say it enough. It's really fun for us. I know it's fun for me. I know it's fun for Sam. He's staying up late for this every week. And uh, we look forward to this. And I hope you guys do too. So we'll keep going as long as that's true. So we're going to end the poll now. And just for, for record keeping purposes, uh, 0 to 10 is the winner with 10 to 20 being the second most chosen option. We will let you know how you did next week, of course, because uh, that will be the end of the of the time. But uh, 
we'll see how that goes. But thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you on Sunday. Pastor Eric Miller coming in hot. You guys are all legends. We'll see you next time. See you later. And there we go with the end. I'm, I'm right now, for the next week, I'm literally strapped for cash. The only money I'll have is tips coming in on the streams.